Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to part one of our Let's Play of Lost Judgment on PS5. All right, let me check my voice real quick before we uh, before we really get geared up. Okay, let's test the sound. So it sounds like my voice is good, uh, so I'll have you guys let me know if there's anything hinky-pinky going on. Um, we're just kind of chilling right now. I got to deal with a <laughs> live notification as usual. This is going to be weird. Uh, switching to a non-shooting game after having played two back-to-back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hashtag, uh, do the... Eh. Anyways, chat, so, uh, we're gonna get started here in a minute. Uh, like I said, I gotta deal with live notification stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna run a snooze right here. Uh, I'm gonna get an ad slot get going. We're gonna run a three minute ad while I deal with live notification and all that stuff. Um, once we're through the ads, I should hopefully be done with live notification type stuff. Uh, and at that point we might drop some gift subs while we start. So I'm going to run that now. <clears throat> That's going to go through. I'm going to process another snooze as well. Okay. So we got three minutes on the ad counter that just started. Uh, uh, sorry, chat. Uh, got to do the... Let's do that hashtag... Let's do that. Chat, I got to do a few today. I don't know what's going to work for Lost Judgment because Lost Judgment is not an active hashtag on Twitter. So I don't know if that's like super, super useful. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit of experimentation uh, with that for those. Uh, since I forgot, for those of you watching this in the future on YouTube, uh, you should see a, uh, a, a timestamp down below in the description that will let you know where to skip to to skip straight to the actual uh, start of the games content <laughs> okay that's pinned uh we can close this uh okay two minutes left on the timer uh what do we gotta do what do we gotta do brother uh, hmm yeah so chat i'm kind of looking around right now just like kind of where i can kind of do this I gotta go hang out with them. I, oh, also, while we're playing this Let's Play, there may be actual incidences of us playing other things, like taking a day off from the Let's Play to play, you know, Fortnite, or maybe even Overwatch 2. I've been thinking about uh, starting and exploring Overwatch 2. Um, the mechanics feel alright, so it would be, it would definitely be fun to, uh, to try that out. So we may do that. We definitely may do that. Um, so be aware. That if you guys hop in one day and we're playing Overwatch, or for those of you on YouTube, you're coming in to watch one day and watch Lost Judgment, and there's a day of uh, Lost, or, uh, sorry, coming in to watch Lost Judgment, and there's a day of, hold on, Overwatch, do not be surprised. Who knows, chat, maybe we'll enjoy Overwatch and be good at it, and it'll become a regular staple on the channel, you never know. Fortnite's fun, but it's, you know, it's not enough fun that I'm going to be playing that, like, every other day or something, right? Whereas if Overwatch is, I would have no problem doing that. That would that would actually be pretty fun. When was the last? Damn, so Bartman has not been active, chat. I wonder where Bartman is. Alright. <clears throat> so we are gonna uh, I guess start off with YouTube. So we got about 30 ish seconds. I'm gonna drop the subs now, chat. Uh so hopefully if there's any non subs, they don't have to worry about this. But once this is done, we're gonna have an hour of pre-rolls off and then we'll have about three and a half three hour 45 minutes uh, ad free and it looks like march ajax and big d nola are the lucky winners of today's gift sub sunday gifted subs all right we are out three hours 41 minutes ad free uh just under 60 minutes pre-rolls off and so we will get started so let me lock in one more voice check and then we'll do the youtube intro stuff
All right, let me check and make sure one more time. All right, for those of you watching this in the future on YouTube, welcome to part one of our Let's Play of Lost Judgment on PS5. Let's get started. So, obviously, we are playing in English. Uh, the audio language, since uh, there may be people who want to watch or listen, uh, but, but can't see the screen, we're going to, unfortunately, do the uh, English audio. If I was playing this on my own, I would be doing the Jap uh, Japanese audio with uh, English subtitles. Which I may do. <laughs> After I beat the game played again, so I can... Now, obviously, if, you know, chat's like, hey, do the Japanese, and that's a different story, but... DLC chat? Let's check the game settings. We're gonna try resolution priority and we'll change if necessary. Always sprint and battle. Necessary. Okay. License da uh, DLC. Chat, you guys might see a pause for a second. Okay, so we have all DLC. Additional credits. Okay. Let's get started. I'm going to do normal because that's what it says. Chat, let's start here, and then we can adjust from there. We'll let it autosave. Even we are gonna hard save, but autosave is good. Autosave is always good. This is a work of fiction. Names, characters, businesses, places, and events and incidents are either the products of the author's imagination or used in a fictitious manner. Any resemblance to actual persons, living or dead, or actual events is blah 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 blah. Content warning. Sigh, chat. Damn, chat, my, is my Twitch You're right now unseen. right? It's definitely smoke, but no visible signs of fire. It looks more like signal flares. Gonna say this is probably a false alarm or a prank. Copy that. You're clear to proceed. Yeah, chat, it says our bit rate is uh, I told you this was a prank. I don't see any fire. Who in their right mind finds this kind of thing funny? People who enjoy causing a commotion. Huh. Hey, check it out. What the hell? Oh, shit. Can't we just report this one in and go? Come on, man. You know we can't just leave this be. Ninety-nine point nine percent of criminal trials end with a guilty verdict. 
That makes the odds for a defense lawyer to get an acquittal about 10,000 to 1. But I beat those odds on a murder case. It's a hell of an achievement. Unfortunately, it came with a price. The death of an innocent woman. The shadows of truth escape the courtroom. And when they do, someone has to drag them back into the light. The reality is, the law is neither as perfect or as fair as it's supposed to be. So I've made it my job to give those without a voice a chance to be heard. some trivia then that would pass the time i mean come on man you never know how long a stakeout's gonna last even keiko chan's losing her mind i'm sure she is give me a sec to come up with a zinger okay okay sure you think up a tough question and i just leave you to your thoughts wait a damn minute how does that even solve this problem then, man? <laughs> um, Kaito-san? I don't think I'm really in the mood for trivia at the moment. Okay, fine. We gotta spice this up somehow. So, Keiko-chan, this internet boy, how'd you end up on the raw end of a scam like this? How is this spicing things up? Hmm? Besides, we don't even know for sure if it was a scam yet, right? Exactly. Kaito-san here is just jumping to conclusions. It'll be fine, Keiko-san. Don't worry. At Yagami Detective Agency, we make sure our clients' hearts are at the heart of our business. <sighs> That's so great to hear. I know I hired just the right people. Damn straight. Sunshine and rainbows with us. Hmm. Chat, you gotta give me a second. I gotta figure out... Kosuke-kun did say he always eats fast food for lunch. Did we not yeah. watch Hogwarts Legacy? But after 20 minutes, I think he'd be done by now. I don't know. He always makes me worry. Even his eating habits. Say, Kiko-chan. How'd a sweet girl like you get roped in by some dude off the net, huh? I wouldn't call it that at all. Would you believe me if I said we took it slow at first? I'd say his patience paid off. Maybe it's hard for you to see, but he is a caring guy. Remember, chat, to one month to Horizon Forbidden West Burning Shores DLC. <laughs> I'm so excited. He was just trying to impress me. He, he couldn't have known what would happen. What was Starfield's own date girl again, chat? Dickhead doesn't begin to describe it. I mean, he is still in college. And besides, he said if we didn't pay, they'd call the Yakuza to collect. So they bled you out of 800 grand, 400 still to go, for a total of 1.2 mil. It'd be practically impossible to pay all that in one lump sum. Exactly. That's where Kosuke Kun's idea came in. He said I could make some easy money working one of those clubs. Yeah, I'll bet he did. Did he say anything about working with those Yakuza from the start? Got this girl, they go out, he racks up a tab. Next thing you know, she's on the market to pay it off. Same shit, different day in this town. Now you're just jumping to conclusions. Besides, a business taking advantage of people like that would have gotten shut down in no time, right? <sighs> Afraid not. Some lines the law just can't cross until it's too late. But I do owe you some credit for turning to a man like Genda Sensei. He's been defending this city a long time now, and his team's rock solid. Yeah, and when things get too dirty for them, Genda calls in guys like us to clean it up. Good for Chat, you, I guess. Fine. Listen, Kiko Chan. Let me see if my voice can be I heard be while they're fun. talking. Kosuke's totally been gaming you from the get-go. Until you see that for yourself. 
Sorry, Sorry, I'm gonna try again, chat. Do my uh, stream manager was not right, to check sound uh, since I have well, Let's not jump the gun, Kaito-san. We don't have proof of anything yet. Speaking of okay, which, maybe now here's I our man hear. of the hour. Uh, I gotta gonna need to raise follow. up the volume some here. because it seemed Hopefully like it we'll was super, super up. low. <laughs> About time we saw some action. Careful out there, Tuck. Okay, I should be able to be heard in conversation now. Hey, Tuck, you read me? You gonna be okay tailing this guy? Or do you need the detective basics manual? Kaido-san, please. I can tail him in my sleep. <laughs> the manual says to keep your eyes open, actually. Be careful here. Okay, chat. So as you saw, it gets super framey when we turn. Yeah, see? Now we can just kind of whip it around. You can deflect your target's attention by pressing and holding triangle to act casual, where you'll do things like fiddle with your phone or check your appearance in a mirror. You know, stuff tails don't do. Too close. <sighs> Is that? Oh, come on, you better not start cheating on or else I'll feel bad for a Kiko Khan. In any case, I should get some evidence of this. Kaito san, you made contact with a new face. Good call. Good. About photo missions, your goal is to capture an investigation's decisive moment on camera. Each mission has a list of conditions that must be checked off to succeed. Your photo must satisfy all the good conditions or your mission will fail. Fuck. If your photo satisfies the excellent condition, you'll be rewarded with SP. If you're trying photo missions, you can retry the mission as long as you have photo ops remaining. We're out of photo ops and it's game over. Hint, always check your surroundings and look for the best possible camera angle in order to clear the mission. When getting a perfect shot sounds like too tall in order, press triangle to use focus time. By concentrating all your efforts on your camera work, everything will seem to move in slow motion, making it easier for you to time your shot properly. How, how do I focus? I just uh, just sent that photo to your phone. Any sage advice? Oh shit, yeah. chat. Okay. I see it. It's a perfect shot, buddy. So, who's Kosuke's new friend? Any ideas? That's what I'm gonna try and find out. I'll be in touch. I haven't seen you in forever, Sakura-chan. It's because you barely show up to the club events, Kosuke-senpai. I probably wouldn't have seen you today either if I hadn't mistaken someone else for you. Sorry, I've just been so busy. I know, I gotta make time for the club. I know you've got a busy schedule, 
But it's not the same without you, Senpai. Oh, well? A lot of girls quit because you stopped showing up, you know? Oh, well? Oh, damn. That sucks. Uh, guess I better make some effort, huh? <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Oh, well? But Senpai, <laughs> while we're actually... on the subject... Yeah. Oh man, I hope you won't do we're, anything we're gonna have some fun with this, okay? Either. I don't know if you know this, but the girls had a few big fights, actually. All that anger could boil over in your direction at any time is all I'm saying. Man. Yeah? Wouldn't want that. I'll be careful. Well, I've got to get going to my next thing. Okay. Make sure you stop by the club, huh? Oh, she's just an underclass, but nothing romantic happening here. Also, I don't think the camera sensitivity actually needs to be that high. Wait a sec. That's Yagami. He's the detective who reported Anaki's affair to his old lady. Yeah, fuck that guy! Anaki got so pissed, he took it out on us! Still fucking sore about it! Yo, Yagami! Chat, fight tutorial. Let's go, Pog! No more turn base. Man, bro. man, this neighborhood never changes, does it? Active combat time, chat. Went to use Crane. Fighting with Crane style. Crane is a highly evasive style centered around crowd control and mobility. Yagami's attacks have a way to reach and can hit multiple enemies at once while in Crane. He can also perform successive dodges and even combo into aerial abilities with Sky Dancer. Quick Step. Quick Steps allow you to gracefully evade attacks. While you can quick step in other styles, the mechanics will vary slightly. Normal evade. Hold R1 to maintain a fighting stance. Then press X to quick step in the direction you tilt L. Perfect evade. Press X just as the enemy attacks. Sky Dancer. Sky Dancer is primarily an invasive maneuver, however, by acquiring certain skills, Yagami will be able to attack and even unleash EX actions while airborne. Press X while holding L1. Ah! Chat, this feels so good. Watch that, watch it. Oh, 
Oh shit. What's going on, Flick? How you doing, brother? Happy Sunday. Oh, fuck. Bro, are these guys literally just gonna... Can't lock on. Let's see if we can get any. Alright chat, let's see if we get attacked again. We need to I need to guard against frontal attacks right now. Oh shit. Guard against attacks with L1. I think I have to have the other thing off. I need someone uh I do kind of like this combat system like way more than uh, like a dragon. Yakuza like a dragon. This this stuff is kind of nuts. This stuff is nuts, dude. The, and the, this first fighting style you have, flying crane or whatever, is is lit, man. When I get the timing down, it's gonna look. It's literally gonna look like I just spin around the dude as they try to hit me, and just start bopping people. Yeah, I appreciate you coming through, Flake. Are you actually on this morning? Yeah, you are. You are on. Interesting. Let's see. Oh, shit. Uh... I honestly don't know where he went. Wait, chat, where did he go? Guess I'll stop by the popo. How Kuski can spend his money is key information. I should get a picture of how much he withdraws as evidence.
Now. Kaito san, I just sent you a new shot. Take a look. Let's go. Yeah, I see it. Not half bad. Huh? What the? Yo, talk. Be real with me. Kosuke's guilty as all hell, right? That's way too much money to just cruise around with. A withdrawal for any amount wouldn't prove anything. Gotta be fair here. But Kaito san's right. That's no ordinary amount for a student to throw around. Hmm. That's it, 300 yen. Man, this detective stuff is Jack, whack. Can we be Yakuza again? <laughs> Not a whole lot right now. He's just wandering around town. I hope we get gun no jutsu in this. Pretty much killing time like your average college student. Any idea where he's headed? Good question. Actually, he just ducked into a building. I'm going after him. Hey, buddy. You new here? You can't just go waltzing in. And why not? Because I said so, that's why. Now beat it. Hey, didn't I tell you to leave? Don't make me call the cops on your ass. Isn't that a little excessive? All I wanted was to look around. Well, there's nothing to see here, so go look somewhere else. There's definitely more to this place than meets the eye. Gotta look for a way to sneak inside the building. Suspicious. This window looks like it's practically never open. Hey. What the? Hey. No way that's gonna work. There are some ducks under that window. If I can make my way out, I can get inside without anybody noticing. I'm trying to take a look around the building. Seems they don't want just anybody in. What could they be hiding? Suspicious. How are you looking at it? What the? That was the foothold. Suspicious. Hey. Alright, chat, that's the investigation. Hopefully it doesn't make me go up there yet.
Perfect. Perfect. Okay, we will. But there's literally something like right out here. Alright, parkour overview. Sometimes you'll need to make your own way to reach your destination. This is when parkour comes in handy. Check your surroundings for a foothold in order to begin parkour. While on parkour mode, move L towards a foothold to use it. Alright, parkour, grip gauge, and climbing walls. The grip gauge above Yagami will deplete as he climbs or uses his arms. If the grip gauge runs out during a climb, Yagami will fall and you'll have to retry from that point. About climbing walls. While wall climbing, your grip gauge will go down. Use left and right to move horizontally. Hold circle and use uh, up and down to move vertically. Damn, chat. Where'd you find this one? This is honestly kind of sick. Uh, kind of hit a wall here. What's that supposed to mean? You didn't lose the guy, did you? Look, my hands are tied right now, but everything's under control. Oh, we, were, we started with 16k, so this little amount we're getting is not actually a bad start. So they do give you a start. Because the Kukun went up to the fifth floor, I guess I've got two more to go. Oh, uh, hey guys. Didn't mean to interrupt. Hey, who's this clown? First time I've ever seen him. Oh, you see, I'm uh, Kosuke's guest. Guess I took a wrong turn somewhere. Who the hell's Kosuke? Ah, that's the kid who keeps hanging around. You'd think he'd have wised up by now. Wait, then he'd be on the fifth floor. So what are you doing down here? Seriously, it's like he got me lost on purpose. You mind, uh, pointing me in the right direction? Take the stairs to the fifth floor, then head all the way back. Your friend will be in the tatami room. The tatami room? Oh, of course. <laughs> Should have known this wasn't it. Before you go... I'm gonna need to verify your membership. Kosuke give you a card? Uh, he should have? Shoot, I can't seem to find it. <laughs> That's so. Well, now we got a problem. Sorry. I'll be more careful next time, promise. There won't be a next time, dumbass! We don't carry cards here! Now who the hell are you, and how'd you get in? Better start talking! Ugh, here we go. Tell me, what's Kosuke doing in the tatami room? We're not telling you shit! Ah! Fighting with Tiger style. Oh, okay. When to use Tiger. Tiger is a balanced style with a variety of offensive, defensive, and evasive maneuvers designed for single enemy fights. After performing a rush combo, you can turn your finishing blow into a charge attack. Charge attacks are stronger than regular finishing blows and can even break an enemy's guard. Press square any number of times and hold triangle. Take it to the extreme. E EX actions are stylish techniques that can be activated in many different situations. They are much stronger than your regular attacks can be performed as long as the EX gauge has at least one segment charged. Press triangle when triangle EX action is displayed on screen. Okay.
Let's go, chat. Damn, chat. Where'd you find this one? I'm still in that building with Kosuke-kun. Had a little run-in with some watchdogs. Big stretch chat. Well, apparently, Kosuke's no stranger. Right now, he's in their tatami room. Oh, he is, huh? What do you think he's up to? Well, a betting man would say he's gambling. If it's a members-only building, mm. goons posted on every corner, I'm telling you now, the tatami room ain't no tea shop. Huh. Not a bad theory at all. It's like you're speaking from experience, Kaito-san. Kaito -san. <laughs> You've got questions? I've got answers. So what are you, Staples? I said we have an intruder. I don't know how he got in. Say what? <laughs> what happened? You there? Tell me something, Todd. Why is a college kid hanging out with a bunch of gambling lowlifes? We're seeing this kid's true colors now, if you ask me. Yeah, it's hard to argue with that. But let's give him the benefit of the doubt until we catch him red-handed. Innocent until proven guilty. <laughs> Is that some lawyer creeping back into your detective work? Well, whatever. Just don't get yourself caught. Unless you want to fight on your hands. I might have to take a break to go Believe put socks me, on chat. My feet are freezing. Uh, infiltration objective. Reach your desired destination without being caught. Better be careful here. Got a minute? I heard we got an intruder in here. Let the others know for me. Yeah, okay. If they see me, they'll call for backup. Better reach the fifth floor as quietly as possible. Oh, I see now. What's up with this guy? Is he napping? In that case, I'll just walk right on through. It's luck, as it should be, I suppose. I don't have time to pick this back up on the way. There's a look around for a key. It's on the table, isn't it? I'm pretty sure, Chad, if you so much as, like, touch one of those cans, he wakes up and you get caught. It would be, it would be in a Yakuza-style game that that would be the thing.
not the right one because I just have to pick it. How to pick locks. Use your pick to gently push each pin upward until the no until the notch on the pin is level with the lock's shear line. Each pin will align with its shear line differently. Push a pin too high and the lock will reset. Once all pins are aligned, the lock will open. Note that not all locks have the same number of pins. Also, some locks must be picked within a time limit or it's game over. Hmm. Almost there. That'll do it. Causing a ruckus after coming this far is it the smartest move? Is it all right? Let's try to coin toss while taking cover. You can toss a coin by pressing R two. Chat ninja assassin in this bit. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, dude. What is this? Dirty cloth. Awesome. I gotta put socks on, dude. My feet are freezing. I think we keep you know, I think we can do this while I uh Hey! Don't just stand there. Shut the door already. Well, there he is, plot right in front of a Chohan game. You need a Come better. Come on, folks! Who wants kid. another round? Everyone place their bets. Now or never. You know you're on a losing streak, Kosuke. Are you kidding? I was ah, just. Didn't know you were such a high roller. Where are you? Uh, on all that cash from anyway. Happy Sunday. <laughs> not feeling too chatty, but I'm working. But hey, Onisan, I appreciate I you coming and hanging out with us. <laughs> Happy Another Sunday! Oh, the weekend's almost over, sad. though. Jeez, go ahead and tell Ugh. the whole world. <laughs> hey, keep any of the secrets on you. But I appreciate you coming and hanging out with us. I hope you are having an amazing Sunday as well. We're doing a thing. We're doing a thing. We're starting Lost Judgment, and I'm honestly excited because it's been long enough since I first saw uh, Kill Carnage play this that I don't remember any of it. So this is basically a brand new game blind playthrough for me. So I'm super, super excited. Guess the proof is plain as day, Kosuke, you're one sneaky bastard. You take her money, her heart, Kiko-san will have every right to hate you. Ooh, chat. Chat. Alright, guys, give me one second. Dude, I gotta put socks on. My feet are freezing. Uh, seriously, give me one second. I actually have socks in here for this very reason, so hold on. Chat, you guys will hear me. I might sound far away, but, uh, <laughs> like, seriously, chat, no cap. This is exactly why I keep socks in here for this, like, this exact reason. Cold feet, man. I'll get you every time. All right. That should be a little more snug as a bug in a rug. We'll get the other one on as well uh, already feel a little bit better not too crazy though nothing too crazy okay the only other thing i gotta deal with is i've been putting this back support behind me wonderful the only thing keeping the back of the chair from not being cold is now falling as well okay so let me put this lumbar thing behind my back chat before we continue and then you guys will hear me 
sit back a little bit. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Back feels good. Uh, please ignore my dear aunt telephone. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, Kaito-san, you called it. Kosuke-kun just blew all his earnings on Chohan. <laughs> Told ya. So, what do you say we do? Cause I say we cut to the chase and have us a little one-on-one. -on -one. Huh. My thoughts exactly. Sure is good. I'll bring the car around. College boys about to learn something they don't teach in class. Mm-mm. Hey man, hold up a sec. Chat, I'm so close to breeding something. a uh, six huh? IV Rowlet. I've got my phone on me. What'd I lose? Well, it could be any number of things, to tell you the truth. Maybe your conscience, or even your integrity. You feel like you might have left those somewhere. Huh? What's your freaking problem? What's your freaking Scamming problem? Scamming a young lady ring any bells for you? Ooh. You've been working with a crooked bar to make her foot a 1.2 million yen bill. What in the hell are you even talking about, dude? Have you conned so many girls you can't even keep the scam straight anymore? You better back off me. I've got the full support of the Tojo clan on this thing, man. Still think it's wise to talk shit? The Tojo clan? You mean the Yakuza? <laughs> Pissing yourself yet? You're about to be real sorry, asshole! <laughs> the Tojo clan thugs got disbanded ages ago. <laughs> If name dropping a long dead gang was supposed to scare me, I'm not very impressed. Son of a Damn, chat. Let's fucking go. I wouldn't do that if I were you. That excuse for a punch told me all I need to know. Fuck you, man. That last one was just a warning. It was just shot. a warning shot, chat. No more chances. The clothes are coming off right now, bro, and you're gonna get fucked. Bro, up. I hear you, kid. Here we go, chat. So, I can take the gloves off too, right? Ooh, what style is this? You for real right now? Well, I pump iron at the gym once a week, my man. Once a week? You're going my brother in Christ. Five days minimum, or you're not punching through. Don't say I didn't warn you. Don't say I didn't warn you. Clip that. <laughs> hey, Yoshiro son, over here. Please, you gotta help me. Kosuke, what happened? This guy giving you trouble? Yeah, he just started wailing on me all of a sudden. He did. Well, what's your problem? This gentleman you're harassing is my Say client. it. Say it. Client. That a tatami room term for gambling addict? Gambling addict? Who told you about the tatami room? People only get in through me. And I sure as hell don't know you. Look, I don't have time to play around right now. Too late, asshole. You just signed up for a beating! Ah, oh, I that. EX boost is a special move that slowly consumes the EX gauge in order to strengthen the Yagami Bond. This limits specifically EX boost. Increase attack speed, reduces flinching, and absorbs enemy damage. Okay. Oh! <laughs> 
Okay, chat, I understand how to change battle stances now. Kind of. This wasn't supposed now to- Now you're really asking for it. Oopa! Chase scenes! About chases. There are times when Yagami must chase down and catch a fleeing target. During chases, you'll run after your target automatically. Avoid obstacles by moving left and right and pressing certain buttons when prompted. The distance gauge will show how close you are to catching your target. Mind your health. You and your target will steadily lose health as the chase ensues. If your health runs out first, you will get a game over. However, if your target's health runs out first, you can catch them and continue the game. You won't get away. Leave me alone! I recover health in a chase. Correctly enter button prompts to evade obstacles and recover a bit of health. Pick up recovery items on the road to recover a lot of health. Open the pause menu and use one of your recovery items. Get away from me! Hold up. We'll still win, but oh, we'll definitely win. We're good, chat. We're good. I made some mistakes during a chase. You may have to choose which pass to take at a moment's notice. So, uh, use to so be careful if you choose the wrong direction, you lose target. It's game over. Don't get away. <laughs> When the target's health is low, so stop running due to fatigue. And then chase, get near them, press circle to catch them. Oh my god, it's a lot, chat, but it's fun, dude. This has so much more energy than uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon did. I kind of want to play Like a Dragon Inchin, chat, Come on, but we won't good. go from this to that, even though done? Like a Dragon Inchin is really cool. <laughs> I you think I know what I'm going to do after this. Stop. And then after For that, we might warrior, do like a dragon. You sure shit. like to sell things with your fists. It depends on how close we get to uh, Horizon you, Forbidden West Burning Shores DLC. Because if this finishes like only a few days before that, then we will almost you definitely me, spend those few days playing. You're not Could really you a detective. I'm a detective, all right. As for the badge, I still have a license to practice, so I hold on to it. Is it safe to assume then you used to work at Genda Law? Yep. Hit the nail on the head, actually. These days, he hands off the gigs that are better suited for detectives, like him. Now it's making a little more sense. Did you catch all that, Kosuke-kun? <laughs> huh? Well, if you want a closer look, I'll be more than happy to accommodate you. What? Huh? Yeah, care to go for a ride? <laughs> We're gonna be buds, Kosuke. Kosuke kun! Time out! Guys, this isn't funny! They stab things off me! I swear this is all a mistake! Kosuke kun. Uh, Yuko chan! Uh, don't let these assholes con you! Believe me, I didn't do anything wrong! Who the hell are these thugs? Who is Yuko chan? Uh, uh, well, My name is Keiko, you jerk! And do you think I trusted you? Here's the deal, Kosuke-kun. First, you're gonna cancel her debt to that bar. But that's not even my call. And second, they'll be returning every yen she paid. Plus a little extra for us having to deal with your bullshit. Oh, you're shit. You're out of your freaking mind! Do you even know who you're- I have a pretty good idea. And I don't think very highly of con artists who prey on innocent women. <laughs> you tell him, Tuck. <laughs> Chad. Hey! That's my That's phone! My phone. <laughs> Dial up that bar for me, would ya? Ooh. What bar? Drop the act, kid. That scam is the oldest trick in the book. 
you don't have any proof. Proof? Do we need to spell it out for you? We got you by the balls, you shit. Who even are you people? <laughs> Some of Kamarocho's finest. The Yagami Detective Agency. You mean, you're detectives? It's in the name. Smart guy, huh? Everyone in town knows us. Ah. They do? You're goddamn right they do. Don't talk like you've never heard of us. Give the guy a break, Kaito-san. We're still getting our name out there. Uh, yo. Why does it have to go down in front of our client? This is beyond embarrassing. Look, I, I get what you're after, but give it up. Uh, the guy who runs that bar's ex-Tojo clan. I was lying when I said he's Yakuza. Yeah. Well, I used to roll with the Tojo myself. I might even know the dumb bastard. You know he's all bark and no bite, don't you? The Tojo clan got disbanded. Yeah, but he's still a criminal! Just because his clan broke up doesn't change a thing! He's just a dickless ex-Yakuza strutting around, flashing a pin that don't mean shit. Still, even an ex-Yakuza is dangerous, right? Are you sure you'll be safe? Yeah, got this under control. Danger is our specialty. So, which number is the bar keeps? You... really shouldn't. Still worried about pissing off an ex-Yakuza? I'd worry more about the one right in front of you. Or would you rather try your luck? He <laughs> said, <laughs> Yo, what's up, Kosuke? Hey, uh, Chief. You wouldn't happen to be back at the shop, would you? Yeah, I am. Why? Up a new chick, huh? Oh, you just keep reeling a man, don't you? <laughs> Not exactly. No? Well, hey, at least you still got Keiko unlocked. Yeah, these broads will do anything if you know how to squeeze them right. You could make a fortune milking her. <laughs> Bastard. Wait a minute, though. What happens when Keiko brings. Oh, <laughs> that's simple. First, we take the cash off her hands. Then we slap on a last minute late fee and send her sobbing all the way to the soap lab. <laughs> right, sounds like you got it all figured out. Wait, why'd your voice change all of a sudden? <laughs> Took you long enough. Wait up, who the hell is this? I suggest you remember this voice, because I'm about to come knocking. And this time, you'll be the one paying the price. Holy shit. You're kind of insane, man. Sorry to break this to you, Keiko-san. Kosuke-kun had you fooled. No matter what lengths you Damn. went to for him, all he ever thought of was using you. You were just an easy mark the whole time. Don't get me wrong, Keiko-san. This did start out as business, but, but now, now I've, I've seen, seen the light. light. Yeah. No. Ooh. That's enough out of you. He said, smack. He said, smack. Come on. Let's get you back to Gendas before the fireworks start. Trust me, you'll be safe there. Okay. You wouldn't want to see what we're going to do to that place anyway. It's going to get ugly. You mean you're going to take them on alone? <laughs> That's always how it goes down around here for some reason. Let's go, Kiko-san. Genda Sensei's office is just up ahead. Ah, Genda Sensei. Take me to Genda Sensei's office, please. Oh, we're going go to Genda Law Office. This is Genda Law, where I got my start as a lawyer. The owner, Genda Sensei, is like a father to me. He's been a well-respected figure in Kamrajo for years. Genda Sensei. Huh? Where is everyone? Oh, Saurakun and company are down at the courthouse. Those two are always putting in a hard day's work. True. Director of Genda Law Office, Ryuzo Genda. It's good to see you. Ah, 
I believe we met the other day. It was that con artist case. How'd it go? Did Yagami get that solved for you? He goes all in on his cases, but that's about his only, his only redeeming quality. quality. <laughs> yeah, he's really gone above and beyond. <laughs> Mythical Christie! Appreciate you coming in and tapping us up. I hope you're having an amazing Sunday or Monday if your anyway. part of the world has already progressed to the next day. But either way, happy day. <laughs> I hope your day is going well. Okay. Uh... Oh yeah, we can't we can't manual save on the auto save spot. I forgot chat. I am Omega Bot. All right, what are these gadgets? We've got it. What? Oh god. Is there drone racing? Wait, that's actually kind of sick. Okay, chat. We don't have anything, but it is good that I am just wait. I'm discovering where these things are. Oh god, chat, it's happening. Oh, bro, what's happening? No! No! <laughs> ah, shit, chat. Here we go. Oh, it's happening. It's happening, chat. My brain... All, seeing all of these things makes me very happy. Oh my god, chat. You spend SP. How much SP do we have? We have 1,400 SP. I mean, there's no reason not to. Chat, I'm not gonna, oh no. Okay. Tiger Crane, and what's special? Boost health recovery when you eat. Lucky gourmet when boost the chance of expanding an eatery's lucky menu. Okay, or or I think we reduce fall damage, chat. Chat, it's gonna happen. There's no way it doesn't happen. It's almost definitely gonna happen. <laughs> Uh, health, EX gauge, any illness. Okay, let's talk to the old Speaking man. Speaking of which, it's rare to see the office this empty. You guys working a big case? Yeah. <laughs> big enough to keep Sauri Kun and Hoshino Kun out of trouble, I suppose. Mm. It's not a murder case, is it? Hmm. All right, chat, give me about two minutes. I got to check on the fam. It seems like everyone's upstairs. Uh, we'll take two minutes. Go ahead. If you are have been sitting listening, go stretch your legs, take a bathroom break, whatever it may be. Give me a few minutes. I will be right back, and we're going to continue. I think this is where things may begin getting spicy early, so we will see. I will be right back.
All right, so our chat we needed to uh, let me get seated in the chair, get my chair back, and we'll keep going. Uh, okay, fine by me. It was getting a little too quiet around here. Anyway, Yagami says, speaking of which, it's rare to see the office this empty. You guys working a big case? Genda says, big enough to keep, uh, is it Sayori-kun and Hoshino-kun out of trouble, I suppose. Yagami says, it's not a murder case, is it? No, no. It... Wait, okay. Oh, that's cool. Chat, in a conversation, you can go, oh, dude, we're, we're going to have to this chat. ordinance violation. I got to figure huh? out, I got to. Oh, you mean. It's a groping case? I need to talk yeah, to someone who's mo a few of the people that are modded this on my channel. Let's see if I can get a regular back. mod to Some good Samaritans be here for clipping station, stuff for this series. Down a groper I'd love to have more to clips for this series. Wouldn't you know it? The culprit was a cop, of all things. Makes you wonder what this world's coming to. Naturally, the chat for a Pokemon favorite, community game if you guys you want saw one. on the news for a while. Hmm. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. It was all over the internet. Anything that stops the trains during rush hour makes the news. It was all they talked about. Probably because he was a policeman. The judge is handing down the verdict today, and I don't expect he'll be pleased with it. Every answer he's given has been, I don't recall. Like that'll do him any good. Stop that man! That man's a grover! Stop him! Stop him! I, I, I didn't do it! Let go! Hey, hey, let me go! Someone help! Get a station car! This man grabbed me on the train! He put his hand up my skirt! No! You're wrong! You got the wrong guy! Stop struggling, asshole! Let me go! The cops can check your hands to see if you did it or not. Be here in a second now, so just chill out! Hey, are you filming this? Put that camera away! Sitting up straight in court, please. <laughs> A bad attitude isn't going to do you any favors. Does it even matter? It's over. The verdict has already been decided. Your demeanor still has consequences. The worse things are looking for you, the better an impression you need to make. Interesting an impression. Huh. Well, if I were the judge, I'd be happy about having an easy day on the job for once. This is no time to be cynical either. Besides, the judge hasn't. It's decided. Guilty is charged. <laughs> this also means it's almost time for the curtain to fall until the grand finale. What? And so, let's get this show on the road. All rise. She knows something's off immediately, just how he's saying things. And the what he's saying is weirding me out, chat. But I don't remember why. I'm having some deja well, vu, but like I don't I said, remember why. Like we I said. should have a verdict coming down today. We only really needed Sauri Kuhn at the bench, but... Oshinokun insisted on joining her. Truth be told, I still can't tell when he's trying to help or when he's trying to impress her. <laughs> then he'll need to pull out all the stops. Saurikun's no slouch. Plus, she's got ice in her veins. Speaking of, how'd you end up on the hook for defending an active duty officer? Well, another firm had it on their plate first, actually. Comro PD, they have their go-to guys. The plan was to get a confession, earning the defendant a nice retirement package and a simple case dismissed. You mean he'd be found innocent? Bottom line, yeah. On the condition he left the force anyway. Correct. But the plan fell apart when the cop kept insisting he didn't do it. 
in spite of the evidence stacked against him. So, once Comro PD's lawyers decided to throw in the towel, the case went straight to Sauri Kuhn, who just happened to take the call. Huh. Makes sense. I'm sure they'll be back soon if you wanted to stick around. I would, but I gotta tie up a few loose ends. But let us know if any new requests come in. Restless as always. You ever heard of a vacation, Yagami? <laughs> That's exactly why I turned my hobby into a job. Besides, I like staying busy. <laughs> Fine. You never did listen to your elders. Anyway, I shouldn't keep Kaito-san waiting. Thanks again for looking after Keiko-san. All right, chat. Uh, talk to Kaito. We have to look at everything, chat. There's got to be something in here we can investigate. Packet of Chris. Appreciate you. Hope you're doing well, brother. Oof. I really do hope you're doing well. Happy Sunday. Or Monday, if it is Monday already where you guys are. Can I take it? just like a random picture? I think I can. Ooh, okay, wait. Let's talk to, uh, Please talk to be Kaito. careful, Yagami-san. And Let's see, I think, we, I think we got two people here we can give subs to. Let's give the sub to back at Chris, who's pretty regularly in here. If Twitch doesn't bone me and then let's give let's gift one to Onisan as well and then boom that's some more gifted subs for our gift sub Sunday gift sub Saturday and gift sub Sunday are lit all right we got those uh, Please Kaito. be careful yeah and thank you okay uh, uh, what did I want to do? Shop talk? <laughs> Not gonna be any bottles of beer on the wall when we're done. Actually, guys, there should be about 99. <laughs> Let's get to work. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go! Well, this the dump you brought Keiko-chan to? It is! So could you please just let me go? Not a chance. You get a front row seat for when your boss shows up. What are you, crazy? He'd murder me on the spot! Then he'd murder you two for dessert! Huh. He's that scary, huh? Yes, actually. Not to mention all his Not boys. Not to mention all, all his the boys. All reason to put him in his place. Pricks like that need to learn how to treat a lady. Agreed. Oh, hold on. I hate that I keep having to take breaks. Sugiura. But chat, sorry, busy really? morning today. I kind of choose a worse fucking. It's also time. why we were a little late this morning. Let's kill. Hey there. You miss me? Jeez, it's been what half a year? Everything good over there? Good as it gets. Well, I've got some good news of my own. I wanted to give you, man. Tsukumo Kun and I have our very own detective agency. Wait, are you saying you started a detective agency? Meaning, now you're a detective? Yep, got our own office and everything. It's in Yokohama. Didn't want to muscle in on your turf. Man, I don't know what to say. Oh, and by Tsukumo, you mean... The one and only. At least, the only one I know. Thought attacking might give us an edge. Never figured he and I were on the same wavelength about stuff. You wanna wrap this up, Tuck? Anyway, we got a pretty big case. And to be honest, we're in a little over our heads. So that got me thinking, why don't we call up the pros? So they can show us how it's done. 
Uh, do you need an answer right away? We're in the middle of the usual. Oh, yeah? More sneaky shit? Yep, I'll tell you all about it later. Oh, come on. Give me just a hint. Sorry, buddy. You all set? <laughs> then let's roll. Let's roll. Autobots, roll out. Hey, appreciate you back there, Chris. I know it helps for people who are lurking. Um, if you're lurking uh, and have to go through ads, I know ads can, like, affect your view being live and stuff like that. It's really weird. The, the way Twitch interacts sometimes just doesn't make sense Go's with get. some of this shit. So to I do my best to try to make it so on. that people can it's enjoy our, our content who want to, or if they're working, that they can keep We're their here lives on live, stuff like that. Hamana. Move things to just help everyone out, not just myself. Legitimate business. Oh, I see. You're the guy who had this dipshit's phone. Yagami Detective Agency, at your service. Yagami Detective? Yo, wait a sec. You the kid Matsugane-san took in? There. You see? <laughs> I told you people have heard of us. Huh. As for me, the name's Kaito. Used to wear the Matsugana uh -huh. myself. Oh, I've heard plenty about you. You're a real celebrity, buddy. <laughs> a man's gotta have a reputation, right? Masaharu Kaito. Ugly as an ape, just as dumb. <laughs> Let's an amateur thief get the drop on him, then forks over the family safe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're a real legend. Got him, Jack. Don't talk like you were there, jackass. You want an ape? I'm about to go ape shit here. Come on now, don't give him what he wants. Fuckhead. Now that we're past introductions, we're here to get Keiko-san's money. And we'll be tacking on our fee on top of that. Just business. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> Hear that, boys? The detectives come to collect. You know the best part of breaking ranks with the Tojo clan? The freedom. No more paying cuts to guys upstairs. Makes us even tougher. And guess what I spent the cash on? The walls. Now this is damn good soundproofing. Meaning whatever goes on inside, stays inside. You'll find out just how convenient. Ah, yes, of course. You're that Kaito son? He, he says, says we're free, free to cut, cut loose. loose. Oh, yeah. Best news I've heard all day. I'm gonna open up a can of. Hey, uh, hold that thought a minute. Greetings, Yagami C. Hey, no way. We did, but There's no fucking shot. Well, now's really not a good time. Oh, so you really are just busy? Oh. He said you hung up on him, so I wanted to make sure. He didn't offend you, did he? I'd hate to think he upset you, you know? But if so, we didn't mean it. On behalf of both of us, I offer my profuse apologies. Yep, no offense taken, man. But you see my point, right? Sugiura, she and I are a team. Our actions reflect on each other. Any responsible member of a company, I mean, any responsible member of society, it's it's a matter of respect. Okay, I get the picture. We'll continue this later. Okay, but when is later? Should I call you back? If you have an estimate, I can set a timer. That way I'll know when it's convenient. Right. Uh, where did we leave off? You gotta be shitting me. Yeah, <laughs> pretty late. <laughs> <laughs> you jokers are dead meat. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Shady bar owner. <laughs> Approve. Okay, I already did that.
<laughs> Just hit a happy cup. What's going on? Welcome in. Appreciate you coming to drop. <laughs> Just pick up the table. Just wham. <laughs> Listen, I just wanted to thank the both of you for all you've done. Yeah, I'm just glad to hear they got your money back. These two are something, huh? Oh, yes. I don't know how I could possibly repay them. Oh, don't worry about it. Besides, those thugs paid our service fee and then some. <laughs> nice of them to eat the cost, huh? Mm -hmm. Beg your pardon? Oh, uh, nothing. I take it all back. Anyway, what happened to the crooks? <laughs> if they're smart, they're skipping town. Doubt they'd reopen after how bad we wrecked the place. As for Kosuke, I made sure to tip his college off about his little side business. Ooh. Should help him rethink his life choices. Oh. So I'd say this case is closed. Nah, he's out of, co he's out of that <laughs> college, and he won't be getting into any others either. It's a scary world out there. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. From now on, I choose the place when meeting boys online. And I should probably change dating apps while I'm at it. That's your big takeaway? Really, kick of chalk. You're laying this all on the app, not the sketchy internet dudes. Oh, I don't think so at all. Plenty of people these days meet their match online. It's true, Kaito-san. Apparently that's a thing now. You see, if you don't seize the opportunity when it knocks, it won't be just the times that will be behind. Fine, fine. Hear you loud and clear. <laughs> uh. Saori san and Hoshino can sure are taking their sweet time. Now that you mention it, they should have left the courtroom a while ago. Maybe they stopped for a quickie somewhere. There's nothing between those two. Nothing real, anyway. These old eyes can tell that much. Wisdom comes with age, huh? Damn right it does. And I've got more than you kids on both counts. You talking about Matsugane-san? Yep. The lawyer and the Yakuza. Best of both worlds. Though we came from different backgrounds, we were brothers in arms. Both trying to make it in Kamuracho. You two ought to visit his grave every now and again. We will. That goes without saying. Well, I guess we should get going. I guess so. Thanks for having us on such short notice. Oh, and give the two lovebirds our regards. All the right. game is afoot, chat. Resolve Kaiko's dilemma. The court is prepared to issue its verdict. The sentence for the defendant, Akihiro Ihara, is six months of penal servitude. He's getting prison time for his first offense? Isn't it usually just probation in cases like this? Yes. I'm sure his attitude didn't help the situation. From the start, the evidence was stacked against him, and all he did was deny it. If that will be all, we can proceed with the court's rationale. The defendant may be seated. Hmm? You'd rather hear this standing up? Your Honor, in a warehouse, about three days ago, a body turned up in Yokohama. Oh, maybe you hadn't heard that. What? What the hell? What is he talking about? I don't know. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. In that case, make sure you pass this along to the Kanagawa police. They'll want to know that the body belongs to a guy named Hiro Mikoshiba. Four years ago, this man took my son from me by driving him to commit suicide. He deserved to die a thousand times. 
but he was never even accused of a crime. No, he just went on with his life. The law let him walk. An utterly broken system. Order in the court. The defendant shall refrain from making such outbursts. Defense, do you have an explanation for the meaning of this? Uh, your honor, we, uh, well... Damn, chat. Huh? How's that for an honest day's work? I just want to go put my feet up in the office. Sounds like a plan. I need to get back to Sugira, too. He was telling us about a big job. You mean a big job for us? Yeah, down in Yokohama. By the way, Sugira and Tsukumo? They're detectives now. Those two detectives? <laughs> Good one, Todd. It... Wait, you serious? This game's absolute bullshit. It's like it's designed to eat your money. Yeah, no, what a fucking that scam. That is Fuck. game. <laughs> I'm beyond pissed. I need to unload on someone's face. Bruh. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Why don't we go give some asshole a game over? You know I'm always down. And they're looking across the street, chat. Better not stick out. These guys are looking for any piece to pick a fight. Uh-huh. Get too close and they'll initiate a fight. Although you can run away in most cases, taking them down will get you precious SP and possibly even an item. Sometimes you'll encounter an unusually powerful enemy on the streets. These are denoted with purple icons. And in battle, their health bar will always appear at the bottom of the screen. It will be much larger than regular enemies. Be sure to frequently stop. Okay. No, I'm trying to fight them. Great. Really, guys? Alright, this is using the map. Where are we going? Chat. I don't know how to read this map yet. Hmm. Don't know about the wall jumping. This seems like a little like low level stuff chat that we might we might want to just go ahead and get. What is Take a taxi down there? We're about to find out. Just to save some time, chat. This is the Yagami Detective Agency. I run the place with the help of my partner, an ex-Yakuza named Kaito. I wish I could say keeping this place afloat was smooth sailing. But the reality is, we'd be drowning if it weren't for the gigs we get from Genda-sensei. It's not like we don't have the technology. 
But when street smarts fail, most of the time we have to get physical. That happens a lot. Alright, the master system, huh? I guess I'll give it a whirl. What is that? Okay, we're not gonna... Okay, yeah. Chat, we know what that is. Uh... Guess we can finally take a breather. Weren't you supposed to call? I was, wasn't I? Crazy how he ended After up in seeing our us in action. Who could blame him? True, 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 true. Ah, true. <laughs> oh, let's go. Yagami-san, everything okay over there? Yeah, sorry, it's a long story. You were saying something about a big case? Oh yeah. Listen, man, you gotta come check out Yokohama. We've been getting jobs left and right down here. If we can ace this case I've got lined up, we'll be the hottest detectives in town. Oh yeah? You sure it's a legit lead? Hey, have some faith. Would I waste your time on a bad lead? Just looking out for you, man. <laughs> well, I do appreciate that. Then, should I save the details for when I see you? Sure. When do you want us over? Honestly, ASAP. Tomorrow, if you can swing it. We're based in Ijincho. Look for an office that says Yokohama 99 out front. That's us. The real question is, you free on such short notice? Uh, let me check my schedule. What schedule? Outside of today's shit, we haven't had work in weeks. If I tell them that, they'll lowball our cut, smart guy. Oh, right. <laughs> Guess we don't want to look desperate. Uh, sorry, Sugira. Yeah. Tomorrow works just fine. Perfect. Man, this is gonna be so great. Oh, and Kaito-san's coming too, right? Brat. He'll be there. Brat, brat. <laughs> See you guys soon then. Aww, oh, fake it till you make a chat. <laughs> Sugiura said he'd give us the details when we get there. Huh. Way to build the suspense. Interesting. Yokohama, though. Can't say I'm really familiar with that neck of the woods. Same here. But you know what? Kamurocho has been pretty tame lately. Maybe this is our chance to broaden our horizons. Could be. Ah, oh, damn. So, chat. This, this I remember. This intro is sick. Chat. I will be right back. I'm going to mute up. I'm going to take care of something while this is going. You guys enjoy. I will be right back.
Yokohama 99's cross streets. Aww, it's not even close to Chinatown. So much for us getting a decent meal on this trip, huh? Well, then how about on the way home we take ourselves a little detour? Maybe. Sukumo's place is way out there. Want to take a taxi? Well, I suppose we could. But why don't we hoof it? Yeah, we could see the sights. I guess I'm on board with that. Let's hit it. Chat, that's what you call timing. I needed to uh, grab something real quick. I gotta rearrange this blanket sitting behind me, man. Okay, let me grab this stuff. There's a Milkree, I forgot what that is in chat, but it's a Pokemon community game thing, so you might want to check if you need one for your Pokedex. I, on the other hand, am ready for heading to Yokohama 99. I mean, it literally says there's people we can talk to, so... Natoro, since it's a foreign company, are you going to quit? Okay, so we need six for that stuff, that's fine. Uh, Yoko, I'm a 99. A cab near us? Maybe we haven't unlocked them in this city. Eugene? Wait, this is. Yeah, chat, it's the same as you go. Chat, let's go sport mode. Yo, hold up a sec, Todd. Hmm? Nonsense over there. <laughs> That's not what I said. So, would you call me? What the? Hey, what are you filming me for? Knock it off. Chill out, man. Why do you care? I don't see anything that says I can't record here. Enough. Stop. Just give me a reason. It's a free country, isn't it? Whoa! Hey! What gives? You just kicked my sight over! Ah, that was the wind, man. A big old gust just came through, right? Yeah, crazy. Just now it whooshed right over. Uh, I told you! Put that down! <laughs> Come on! Kids don't seem to give any fucks about people these days. Agreed. So much for seeing the sights, huh? Well, you're thinking what I'm thinking, aren't you? <laughs> Do you have to ask? <laughs> so, anything else you want to accuse us of? I'd say you must be losing it, Pop. You goddamn brats! I got that one! He called us goddamn brats! You picking on high schoolers, man? Uh, no, I just don't want you loitering in front of my store! That's all I said, okay? So stop disturbing my customers. <laughs> that part's not going to make the video. Wow, is that one of those new smartphone models? May I? What the hell? Damn, the camera on this thing is amazing, man. Your parents buy it for you? <laughs> Holy crap, he kicked Sakaki down. He must be saying things, kid. Anyway, your smartphone's kind of dirty, don't you think? <clears throat> Let me see. 
Give me my phone back. You want it back? I'll give it back, but only if you put this poor restaurant owner's sign back up first. Asshole. You think you can fuck with us? Oh, chat, they fix our giga chat. Let's go. They're going to kick our ass, chat. That's what's happening right now. Ah, delinquent students. Wonderful. When to use Snake Style. Snake Style focuses on swift flowing strikes and counter attacks. Works especially well against those carrying weapons. Deflect attacks. Okay. L1. the hell? Chat, I'm not sure what's going on here. It won't let us, uh... Merciful. Made one enemy surrender. Wait, wait, chat, 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 chat. Guard against enemy attacks with L1.
Damn, chat. Okay, once I figured out why it wasn't progressing, we're good to go. I didn't know it meant, like, hold, hold. That stinks like a bitch! For fuck's sake. These guys are monsters! Correcto mundo! Giga Chad! Yo. <laughs> Was that Aikido just now? Oh, don't tell me you've been training in a secret dojo or something. Eh, uh, just more of my own thing, really. Figured I'd find a way to hold back for punks like them. Here. This came from one of those kids. Your call what to do with it. <sighs> you really didn't have to. But thank you. Fair enough. Those were students from Serio High. <sighs> You'd think private school kids would be better behaved, but they're just as immature. They look like a bunch of entitled brats. <laughs> They'd learn some manners the hard way in Kamrocho. Well, we've got our fair share of unsavory types. The Yakuza, not to mention those Yokohama Leomon gangsters. Hmm. Those kids wouldn't dare to mess with them. True. So they're selective about their targets. Yes. They'll only harass you if they think they'll get away with it. Think they'll be back for more? I certainly hope not. Anyway, I sure am glad you stopped by. Come to think of it, you're the only ones who've ever intervened. I take it you're not from around here? Yeah, but we might end up staying. For a while, at least. Ever hear of a detective agency called Yokohama 99? We were on our way there right now. Hmm. I'm afraid that doesn't ring a bell. That's all right. If anything, we should get going. Sure. Oh, but before that, please take this with you. Consider it a token of my gratitude. All right, Chad. We'll get we'll get to gear eventually. We'll get to gear eventually. Not not the second one. Oh, wow. not too shabby, guys. Chat, I might take a bathroom break. I know we're taking a lot of breaks today, but trust me, if my uh, if my back didn't feel so terrible, I would not. Okay. I wonder if maybe I should change the chat. I might change the map rotation and the map shape. I don't know. I don't know if I like this one. Yo. Ah, if it isn't the man of the hour, Yagamishi. Head of Yokoma 99 Inc., Makoto Sukomo. I think it was Sukomo. Welcome. Did I read that? Right this guy. In. First, he falls off the radar. Now he's got this sweet office. Look at the sweet oh. off, and he's fast. Ah! And he's fast. You learn how to move, chat. You're still quick as a thief. Maybe a little quicker, actually. Well, I'd say beef isn't very fair. It was stealing. Oh, come on. You know I wasn't doing it to line my own pockets, right? We took from the powerful and gave to the powerless. It was altruism. And it's all in the past now, so let's just leave it at that. Yokoma 99 in Investigator uh, Fumia Sugira. The place is nice, Sugira? though. Sugira? It's kind of familiar, even. It should be. You're our inspiration, Yagami Detective Agency. You guys are the goal. Huh. For sure. So, how about you guys take a load off? If you're ready, I'll give you guys the briefing. Say what? A briefing, man? Let him go over what we know. I've actually got an agenda Simple for chat. today's meeting, uh, too. For a piece of if you Just need one. Just roll with it. 
give him a oh, chance. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, chat. Although I accidentally clicked the detective talk has made him go a reason. little overboard. I'm sure it'll I'm work itself. I'm going to go in and delete that one. I need to it's go all through all my clips. Imitation or really is the sincerest form of flattery. <laughs> Maybe I'll pay someone like a hundred bucks to go through all my clips. <laughs> delete the ones that are not good. To sum up why we called you, we've been seeing a major upward trend with these kinds of cases. What do you think? Care to take a wild guess? I'll give you a hint. It's not a problem you'd find in Kamurocho. So, it's specific to Yokohama? I know. It's gang warfare. The outfits run in Chinatown or at each other's throats, and you guys sort out the aftermath. Well, we did just hear about the Yokohama Liuma. They're a gang, right? Yeah, the Yokohama Liu, whatever. But they're stirring up shit as we speak. Actually, we haven't run into any gang-related activity at all. No, what we're dealing with isn't so conspicuous. I'll just tell you, it's bullying. Bullying? Mm. Sometimes parents ask us for evidence to prove their child was bullied. Fairly often, they want these bullies taken to court immediately. They'll also want to hold the schools accountable, but none of that happens without solid proof. How old are these kids? Most of them are in middle school. Research shows that boys at that age experience a sudden spike in testosterone. This leads to outbursts to assert dominance, compounded by the irrationality of an immature brain. Scientifically, this potent mix of impulses often manifests Chat, this may pause at some bullying. point. I'll be right back. I gotta do yeah. one more thing. I call that puberty. But that would apply specifically to boys, right? You're getting cases with girls involved too, aren't you? Ah, with girls, it's more likely rooted in oxytocin. A brain hormone that also has links to bullying. See, oxytocin fosters feelings of attachment, regardless of your gender. For instance, scientists have observed that a mother's oxytocin levels surge when looking at her child. Then it's not always a bad thing, is what you're saying. Indeed. Did you know it was oxytocin that enabled cooperation among our primitive ancestors? Ancient matriarchs were particularly vulnerable during childbirth thus requiring communal support. So you could kind of say the survival and reproduction of our species was largely oxytocin at work. After all, raising a child in the wilderness would have been impossible alone. However, this intense social need bore a dark side. Individuals who failed to contribute were shunned and eventually condemned. Let's say there was a villager who never put in his fair share. All he did was eat the crops. If that became the norm, Nobody would work until the village was on the brink of starvation. And by then it'd be too late. Precisely. That's why these offenders were punished. Primitive as it was, punishment equated to justice. A necessary measure for society's greater good. And societies with a stricter sense of justice were the ones who endured in the long run. To put this into focus, these people are our direct ancestors. So from a science perspective, modern day bullying is just primitive? More like it's hardwired into our nature. Hormones are fucked up, huh? I wouldn't chalk it up to just that. However, we humans do tend to reject what's foreign to us. Whether we're socially awkward or simply misunderstood, those who don't conform are ostracized. That's how it's been since time immemorial. The misfits of civilization are deserving of punishment. Bam. All over the world, no matter where or when. Chat. Damn, chat. Looks like you guys have been doing your homework. A lot of homework. Tsukumo kun's the one hitting the books. I'm more in charge of the field work. Makes sense. If he's reading this much, the bullying problem really must be getting bad. Here's another fun fact while we're at it. An act of betrayal also increases the human urge to punish the offender. In those cases, the act of punishment floods the brain with dopamine triggering an instant rush of pleasure. In other words, serving justice can feel just as good as eating or having sex. Sure, but that's where we have to draw the line. Justice can't be twisted into joy, or it stops serving its purpose. 
Very perceptive, Yagamishi. So, back to reality. What's this big case that needs all the manpower? Ah, yes. Our client is the chairman of a private school. He wants us to scour the campus for any and all instances of bullying, leaving no stone unturned. That said, he also requires us to be discreet. <coughs> How big is this? Uh, let's see, there are six <coughs> classes per grade, making 18 in total. So approximately 600 students. Given that, Sugiyurashi and I couldn't possibly vet them alone. We'll be meeting the chairman at a restaurant tonight to lay out the specifics. How about the two of you come join us? Oh boy. We could use the help. Sorry, chat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> For a couple of rookies, you sure have it together. You guys are free until dinner. Oh, we already made the reservations in Chinatown, by the way. Think of it as a little welcoming party. The restaurant's name is Kyoinro. If you could meet us there, that'd be great. Sure. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. Chat, yes, we did. So, chat, uh, all that chicken I prepped yesterday, uh, one of the portions is for today's lunch. So, whenever, whatever time I get off stream, having lunch, and then later in the evening, I have to, uh, claw the cooked fat meat roll, and uh, dough as well, and get some may in. You know, dinner's gonna be light, uh, end of day uh, Haitian patties. So I'm like super hyped for the rest of today. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be great. Chat, it's gonna be great. Why do we have to go so far, bro? I wish you could import a Yakuza save and then have this building or whatever be named like whatever your building was called. Don't worry, chat, I definitely do remember. I'm not a bot. I love how convenient they make it in this game because I have I've yet to travel anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I know it costs money, chat, but I'm I'm being lazy right now. Okay. <clears throat> I'm being lazy today, chat. Normally, I would just run that distance, see what the town has to offer, but. Honestly, I'm kind of here for the detective, like, story, fun stuff. If we do extra, you know, mini games and stuff like that and really grind those and things of that nature, cool, but I'm honestly here for the story because I remember it being amazing. Appreciate you, Packer Chris. I hope you're doing well, brother. I hope your 24 hours is going well. You should, I think you're almost done, aren't you? Yeah, you're probably almost like done. This is it. Damn. Are you almost here, Yagamishi? We went ahead and sat down. Actually, we're right out front. Excellent. Just give the host my name then. Will do. <laughs> Was this the same guy living in a net cafe not too long ago? Yeah, at this rate, he'll leave us in. 100%. Without further ado, Allow me to introduce Yagamishi and Kaito-san, the gentlemen I mentioned before. They are, without a doubt, the finest private eyes in Kamurocho. Ah, yes. Sukumo-san here has certainly been singing your praises. My name is Okuda. I'm the chairman of a private high school. Serio, if you've heard of it. Serio High School Chairman, Yuzo Okuda. Serio High. Isn't that where those kids were from? Yeah, the ones from earlier. Is something the matter? We actually ran into some of your students today. There must have been seven, eight of them. They were harassing a restaurant worker and recording it on their phone. Oh boy. And I'm guessing you didn't just stand and watch? You bet your ass we did. Had to knock a little sense into those brats. You mean there was an altercation? I... perhaps I should pretend not to have heard that. Come on, pal. Why don't we cut the formal crap and tell it like it is? Because that would be unprofessional, Kaito-san. Chairman, we'd like to start investigating tomorrow. So would you mind sharing any background information you may have? Certainly, yes. Our administration has a very firm stance against bullying. 
Yet no policy is foolproof, and each situation is unique. We continually ask ourselves, are we taking proper measures to foster a supportive environment? Or, if enmity is already prevalent among the student body, are we addressing their concerns promptly enough? I believe the key is prevention. Stop bullying before it starts. And you're hiring detectives to help? Oh, yes. See, as this thought was dawning on me, I happened to cross a sign. Yokohama 99, it read. Okay, Dr. I Seuss. I visited your webpage, actually. Unbelievable. And I discovered just how well-versed you were at this very matter. At that moment, I knew fate was guiding my hand. Sounds like you walked right out of a commercial. In most situations we've dealt with, nah, we knew who the problem was dude, beforehand. <laughs> All ain't we no need way. to do is get the Chat, evidence. Ain't no way. But in this case, we don't even know if there's a bully in the first place. Hence why we called in the reinforcements. So, I take it you have some sort of plan? Maybe. Of course. We're going to start by spreading hidden cameras throughout the school, anywhere that bullying is most likely to occur. This footage should provide a detailed snapshot of student interaction that would otherwise go unnoticed. Then, after a two-week test run, we'll compile our data and present our initial PlayStation. analysis. PlayStation! Nothing beats a good old-fashioned spy cam. Yes, but if one of these spy cams were found, the whole operation could be compromised. As such, our pair of experts are intimately familiar with the complexities of human behavior, ensuring these cameras remain hidden. <laughs> Damn, you make me want to hire us. This secret stays between you and us, Chairman. Not even the guards or teachers can know. Do I have that correct? You do. I believe the more people who know, the more likely it is this would get out. At any rate, I've heard Yagami-san here has tackled many a difficult case in Kamojo. I'm glad to have such a reliable detective on the job. You have my full confidence and backing. Hmm. <laughs> they just keep raising the bar on us, don't they? So, True. Yagamishi, if there's anything you'd like to ask the chairman, now's your chance. <clears throat> hey, good idea. You might learn a thing or two from watching the master at work. Way to put me on the spot, guys. But might as well. So, we never actually resolved this, but... We did get into a scuffle with your students. No one got hurt, but how do you feel about that? Uh, well, uh, I'm afraid I have to remain ignorant of that. Fine. But let me tell you one thing. Next time I see your students harassing someone, it's gonna be lights out. The kitty gloves are off. <laughs> that also part of the Yagami Detective Agency package? Could you elaborate on why you're going the detective route for this? Yeah, I'm like curious said, too. My goal is to nip any bullying in the bud before it can grow any worse. And it's not enough for the teachers to be on full alert? Unfortunately, no. I'm afraid I can't fully trust whatever they jot down on some report. What happened to make the chairman doubt the teacher's credibility? Okuda-san, you mentioned you couldn't trust your teacher's reports. Why is that? Um, human error, I suppose. Behavior can be ambiguous, and it is difficult to notice every little detail. Your first response seemed to hint at something else. Hmm. Yes. Yes, I suppose it did. Can you tell me what's going on? Uh, oh, where should I begin? Found it, chat. You see, I was quick, too. It has been almost four years since the suicide of one of our students. The poor boy hung himself at home. You mean because he was being bullied? Not on paper, at least. We established a committee to investigate, but they never turned up anything. Neither did the court. Wait, you were taken to court? Yes. 
One of the student's parents filed a lawsuit. Now, there were online postings that may or may not have hinted at bullying. But the prosecution never found substantial evidence, and the court ruled we were in the clear. If I can ask your honest opinion, was there really no bullying, Chairman? I would like to believe there wasn't. But I may have been too far removed from the classroom to say that in good faith. Every day, I watch our students come to school, and what I see are young, happy kids. They're all so full of life, with bright futures ahead of them. However, around two months ago, we lost contact with one of our student teachers. Everyone assumes it's a mental health issue. The hell? <laughs> Don't tell me he got picked on, too. That could have been the case. But I didn't get enough details to say for sure. From what I'd observed, he appeared to be getting along quite well with the students. But I later heard his family had reported him missing. A suicide four years back, a missing teacher. This school is no stranger to controversy. At the end of the day, I'm asking you to shed light on the darkness that's plagued my school. That is why I went the detective route. In the event we do uncover bullying, what action would you take? Of course, we would provide appropriate counseling, in addition to notifying the local authorities. Wouldn't that mean increasing the teacher's workload? Interviewing students, filling out paperwork, that could lead to making people not want to bother reporting it. Hmm. Sad to say, I can't rule out that possibility. The teachers have so much on their plate as it is. I doubt they'd volunteer to look for any extra trouble. That is why we must strike at the root of it. What if you offered your staff a bonus for catching any bullies in the act? <laughs> I know that'd motivate me. Uh, you don't think that'd backfire? Actually, it might be worth considering. But the fact of the matter remains. Bullying has no perfect solution. Okay. I think this conversation has been enlightening. Any thoughts, Tsukumo? Hmm. What else is there? I suppose we'll have to see when we get there. We may have more questions then. That would be fine. All right, then. Time to dig in, or what? Are you really pretending you waited? You've been nibbling this whole time. <laughs> you call this nibbling? Hey, waiter! I want to place an order. And tell your chef, I hope his kitchen can handle this heat. Uh, I take it this place isn't exactly cheap? Don't you worry about that, Yagamishi. The bill's on us. It's your welcoming party, remember? What?! Chat, they got it like that? In that case. Uh, excuse Each me. Each meal is I'm probably like two. at least 5k. Ah, uh, bro, they got it like that? Nah, Yagami Detective Agency is uh washed. Uh down bad plus ratio. <laughs> Ain't no way, man. New info has been added to your case file. Suicide at Sir High, persons of interest updated. Suicide at Sir High, case synopsis updated. Where he goes on January 10th, 2018, the first day of the new semester, a male third year high schooler, age 18, was found by his mother at 7 a.m. hanging from a towel wrapped around his neck in his own bedroom in an apartment near Ijincho, Yokohama. An ambulance took him to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. He was already the chairman when one of this, okay. A student teacher, age 22, suddenly went missing instead of reporting to his position at Sir High. No relevant notes or messages have been found so far. On October 9, the family reported the matter to the police. Is this Mikuba? That is this the dead person? Chat, this might be the dead person from that warehouse. They didn't put the name in here. So that might be the dead person. 
Because we've only heard Mikuba. Hold on. So, how was that for your first day's work? I realize that meeting was a lot to take in, but the task at hand seems pretty straightforward. Oh yeah. What was that you said about using hidden cameras? Tomorrow we'll be deciding where to put them. We don't have all that many, so you know. Oh, and we'll be dressed as AC repairmen. Okay. What? You're gonna make us wear uniforms? <laughs> of course. Freshly laundered and ready for duty. As yeah, you may recall, damn. only the chairman is aware of our investigation. We must therefore deceive both student and faculty. Sounds like a plan to me. For now, let's call it a night. <laughs> You've got a point there. In any case, try to make yourselves at home. Tomorrow's Apologies gonna be difficult, advance, isn't if you it? Find oh, our no. amenities wanting. Chat, oh no. Wait, what have I signed myself up for? Wait, chat. This is not like Yakuza like a dragon where I could literally just orbit a laser my way out of any situation by the end. We actually have to do work and blend in. Oh, this is going to be painful. I'm a night owl, so my work's just starting. I if you want to close your eyes for a bit. Ichicho's not such a bad town. And it's sides. These kids got nothing on our usual... <sighs> hmm? What's up? Sugira. I was shopping online and I bought two of the same skateboard by mistake. Huh? How'd that happen? It was a limited edition, only available by lottery, so I pre-ordered it on two websites to <sighs> so my chances. Sucks. But then I was selected by the lottery on both sites. The second skateboard got delivered today. Can't you just return it or sell hmm. it online? Returns aren't allowed, and yeah. I did think about selling it online. It's going for twice its original yeah. price, but come on, if you can sell for twice the price, then that's even better. You're making no bank. No way! You can't. I won't allow it. As long as I live, I won't abide resales. <sighs> None. Hey, what's wrong? It's rare for you to get this angry. He's totally against reselling now because a short while ago, he was trying to buy this rare figure and couldn't get it. So he had to buy from a reseller. Oh, I didn't know. I bought a limited edition copy of a game at three times its original price. I didn't want to give in and support the super resales industry, but I just had to have it. Can you understand huh. my pain? No, sorry, I don't get it. <laughs> you see why I can't figure out what to do with these skateboards? Segura sheet. Why don't you let uh, Yagamishi use it? I'm sure it'd be a handy way to get around mm -hmm. Ijin Cho. Give it to Yagami-san? Yeah, that's Yagami -san. not a bad idea. Do you actually use it? I really don't know what to do with it since I can't sell it and they huh? won't take returns. You can just pay me back later. Next time you saw a vacation, get a nice reward. Treat me to something. <laughs> all right, all right, with gratitude. <laughs> Kickflip! Got the skateboard for free. Hey! Rad, man. Oh, by the way, even though you can ride it around the city, you can't go on the sidewalks. It's dangerous to skate yeah. where pedestrians are. Yeah, okay, got it. I can't believe this. Huh? Huh? What's wrong? The ECB pawn in front of the station has the five-year anniversary limited colored love star figure. <laughs> I read it on a random internet forum, but I don't think it's fake. I gotta buy it. And there's a reseller already closing huh? on it. Let's... Hey, wait. We still have stuff to do before tomorrow. Let's... Let me cameras work. Hmm. <sighs> Hmm. Nah. Yeah. Chat! Chat! Let's go! Skateboard tutorial! <laughs> Bro, let's go! Sport mode! Sport mode! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me like 20k or whatever it's gonna cost you. And I will literally jet on over there on this sick new skateboard. Based on the time of the reseller's last post, he's going to be in there in just gotcha. three minutes. Uh, here's some money. 20,000 yet. <laughs> yo, call. Yo, chat. Call. I'm a precog. Precognitive chat. Oh, uh, shoot. All right, Agami san, do your best. Remember, you can't skateboard on the sidewalk. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, Chad. How do I do it? Chad, it's not working. What is happening? Please get out of my way. I should be able to get there fast enough, Chad. I can't ride a skateboard here. I hate it here. Chad, I hate it here. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is lit. Lit, 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 lit. down but we'll still make it on time let's go yeah 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 <laughs> let's go chat Sorry chat, I got distracted and was having too much fun. Chat, I'm telling you, this game is lit. Excuse me. That's some hype ass music <laughs> for skateboarding to, <laughs> to beat a reseller. 20,000 yen, still interested, sure, I'll take it. Post your doing business, let's go. Guess I'm late to pick up my figurine. Thrifty Yakuza. Ain't no way. Mm -mm -mm. You're interfering with important business affairs. First come, first serve. I'm not giving it up. Well then, off to take it back by force. No way. Let's go, chat. Let's go. Shoot! Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Dude, chat, that was actually like soup. That was pretty lit. That was a pretty lit fight. The fights in this feel similar. With it not being turn based, it's just free flow combat. It feels really smooth and really fun. Oh, like, really fun. Alright, thanks to you, Yagamishi. I got an amazing collectible, and I didn't have to fork over money to hey. a reseller. He, he wanted it so bad, he attacked me. Is that yep. really so in demand? Oh, yeah. Seishu Ponner wasn't in the know, but this is a very rare color sample. His production line was canceled. So this color's never been available to the public. There are only two of these huh. in the entire world. On the market, it's at the price of oh, around three. Are you serious? For one figure, <laughs> seriously? So you see why a reseller would be desperate for it? <laughs> Some splendid item does not belong in the hands of a reseller. I owe you one. It's fantastic. Jesus, dude. Go. Go. Dude, honestly, their detective office is sick, though. We're getting paid chump change chat. 
chat. There's a win cash in chat. Also on the Y'all way out sheen. earlier. Remember those uniforms I mentioned for our last yesterday? Break, I slammed my name. We need to put one on before we go. Dude. They should be a perfect fit. <laughs> After all, there's no information I can't find. Body measurements included. That's a little bit creepy. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You've never been one to miss a detail. A little bit creepy. My man said, <laughs> I found your measurements. And it's like, bro, that's not... That's not normal behavior. <laughs> that's actually just not normal behavior. Like, uh-huh? All right, sorry, chat. I had to get a clip for that one. I was kind of roasting for no reason. But that's not why I came. Wee! <laughs> that's not why I went into my menu. Go fuck yourself, game. Bro, this game can actually go fuck itself. Leave me alone. I wanted to do something completely different. Chat, the Giga Chat. What's up with those guys? They sure look like men on a mission. But for, for what? Me. To repair now an air conditioning unit. Say we high. Gentlemen, are we all ready? Remember, this case can open up a lot for us depending on how we solve it. So let's leave no stone unturned. Don't worry. No case is too big or too small. We always swing for the fences. Ain't that right, Tom? <laughs> you know it. Good. Then let's get you know going. know it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know it. Man, oh no. Chat, you, gotta, you guys gotta give me a second. We gotta, uh... Gotta take a, another little look see boo. My family of cats. <laughs> Alright, seriously though, let's let's hop in the hop in the cab. Get your cabs here. Chat, get your cabs here. Bro, what is happening? Get your cabs here. Jack, get your cabs here. Uh, I gotta do this. I gotta do this. Hey, hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey. All right, let us head to this private school. I do not trust that I can cross all the way through there. Oh, wait, Chad, I almost forgot. Is this place? Do I literally just go the wrong way? I'm actually like almost near a cab though, so. I didn't see Sarah Yuha, I was its own tab chat. I was looking for the region uh, uh, light up. Those bugs were pissed and wanted to fight, and I was like, bye! <laughs> Just dip. Straight dip set. Oh, yeah. Great sound of sound. Going to the school. Wow, wow. AC unit repair. Bow, wow. <laughs> ah, you must be the repairman. The chairman said you'd be here. Uh, I take it you know where you're to going? fight a Team Rocket. Yes, Go ahead. but thank you anyway. 
These vats. This place reeks of money. Yeah, they are a prestigious prep school. Wonder if the kids are on recess. So, our first order of business is to analyze the layout of the school. The schoolyard should provide the proper vantage point. Let's head there. It seems this school's design is fairly conventional. See, there's the classroom building, and that must be the gym. By the way, how many spy cams do we have? Twenty in total, all of which feed directly to my computer. Think we ought to split them up between us? We could, but that might draw extra attention. We stick out enough as is, so people will wonder what we're doing alone. But if we moved in pairs, they'd write us off a lot easier. <laughs> Clever as always, Yagamishi. Huh. That reminds me of something. When a con man pretends to be a cop, he'll usually bring along a partner. It seems the added person adds legitimacy. Unless you're a natural skeptic. All that is to say, Yagamishi knows his material. Hear that, Top? <laughs> you should have been a con man. Very funny. So, how about Kaito-san and I take half the cameras and you guys take the rest? Where are they, anyway? Right here. Now, these cameras don't see very far, but they do see wide. 150 degrees, to be precise. So let's try to set them up where we think a bully would be most likely to strike. So, we just gotta find the teacher's blind spots, eh? <laughs> You're looking at a natural, buddy. You would brag about something like that, Kaito-san. <laughs> Better stop before I blush. <laughs> All right, guys, I think it's time for action. Sorry, chat. Okay. The time they did that conversation, I defeated Team you Rocket Boss and uh, Pokemon Cow. Affirmative. <laughs> In the time they explained all of that, and I was actually listening, that's the crazy part. In the time they took to You've explain all that, cameras. I not only paid it's attention to use all of what they said regarding where we should put the cameras, what we need to look for, but I defeated a Team Rocket boss. I just gotta catch this stupid Bellman now. Okay, buddy. Can you just not move, you little sh... Caught. Is it good IVs? Eh, mid tier. Yeah, of course. The Better shoe nothing. lockers. <laughs> Met all kinds of teams. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's where you drop love letters to your crush. Dude, what century did you go to school in? Look, whatever. All I'm saying is, this place is worth at least three cameras. Three? Just for the lockers? Yep. See, a school never has that many blind spots. So when you do find one, you make it special. And this one's pinging my radar pretty hard here. Huh. After that, sure, let's do it. Damn, chat. The first Super one is reporting in. super the noticeable. Set up a few cameras already. Feed is coming in nice and clear. Thanks. That's things. We just finished with the back of the gym. Next up is... Copy that. All right, Tom. Boys will handle this floor. So let's go up one. Gotcha. Every bully loves a good pair of stairs. You think it's really that often? Yep. Close corners make for poor visibility. Making this a number one choice among ads. You don't say. All right. Then let's get a camera here. Right. Let's move up to the next floor. Yep. 
Yagamishi, are you perhaps on the yeah, second? Yeah, we're about to. Okay, we're almost done with the first floor, and we'll be heading. I think we can handle that all on our own. So can you finish up the second and third? Sure, not a problem. Splitting up for a bit shouldn't hurt. How about I take the hmm. second floor and you do the third? Works for me. Let's see. Somewhere out of the way and hard to spot. Yagami. Bruh. He did not just casually put a camera in there, bro. Come on. Looking for something, pal. Yeah, I'm kind of busy, in case you couldn't tell. Got all the way top for a little negotiation. I'm pretty sure smoking's not allowed in school. Should you really be doing that here? Oh, uh, you saw that, huh? Could you, uh, keep. I can. But in exchange. Yeah, sure. <laughs> no problem. Just don't <clears throat> tell anyone, okay? I probably still will. I just needed you out of here. I didn't want to spend the thousand chat. I'm done setting up the third floor. Same. I've hit up everything is. I've still got two. Maybe this Thai corridor might be good. The teachers probably pass by. Hey, Kaito san, don't you think we should be installing these in classroom? Isn't that where bullying primarily takes place? You might be right about that, but we couldn't cover every classroom if we wanted. Yeah, fair enough. Nice to see you putting so, so much stuff. professionals. We'll just have to make two. We should set this camera up wherever we can get the broadest view. How about the ceiling in the middle of the hall? And we'll see everyone going in and out of class. Okay, Tuck, I'm gonna give you a boost. So make sure you. Uh huh. You know, we totally could have done this during recess. Everyone's just staring at us. Too late to whine now. Just do what you. Chad, it's them. It's them. Hey, you saw them, right? Those kids who started trouble at the restaurant. 
Palace. You know uh, too. Huh? Palaw Possible sand in chat if you want one. Two. I don't know what it is. Sounds like we've got some bullies in there for sure. That'll but be it's a for prime spot for the last game. camera. All right. Just make sure they don't see your face. Excuse me, but I don't rec- uh, uh... Oh... Sorry to be in your way, ma'am. We won't take long. I understand, but nobody- Yeah, and nobody notified us. You know what? I don't seem to recognize either of you. Probably- I uh, can't say I know anything about that. We're just here to- You can call me Sawa-sensei, not ma'am. And you're in my classroom. Forgive me- It was the chairman who called us in. I had assumed all teachers were notified. Oh, the chairman. Well, I suppose I should leave it at that then, hmm? Well, when you say it like that... It... Did he make this appointment with you directly? Uh, yep, sure did. <laughs> so, uh... Hmm, and I'm sure our chairman gave you his name? His name? Oh, well, uh, that would be... Okuda-san. Oh, no, chat! Yes, of course. Oh, sorry thank God. Sorry. Thank God. No problem at all, Teach. By the way, anyone ever tell you how stunning you are? I'd say you're just my type. My dream Chat. Chat, I wasn't what? sure. <laughs> uh, ignore him, please. Like I said, we'll get this done quick and be out of your hair. Chat. Bro, what the fuck is going on outside of my house, man? I'm trying. <laughs> and we're done. Oh, I hate this name. Sorry again for the disturbance. I'm just kidding. I don't, we'll I don't hate now. it, but I do hate the people that drive in it. The hell was that, Kaito-san? You forget we're yeah, working. But man, that chick's the spitting image of a teacher. I what? So that makes me the bad guy? All right, all right. This is Tsukumo reporting in. Yagamishi, please respond. Hey, man. We just finished setting up the cameras. Good. So did we. Could you and Kaito-san meet us at the gymnasium, then? It's empty at the moment. I thought we might as well check the camera feed and discuss what to do moving forward. Got it. Then we'll see you at the gym. Ready, chat? All right, to the gymnasium. Excellent work, gentlemen. All cameras are fully operational. So, now all we do is sit back and watch? Something like that, yes. By the way, Yagamishi, I noticed you installed a camera in a classroom. Did you find a lead there or something? Yeah, that classroom had those problem kids from yesterday. Thought they'd be worth keeping an eye on. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, nothing unusual's turned up yet. Yet. Guess we'll have to watch and wait. Hmm. If there's any bullying happening at this school, this is a surefire way to find out. As it is, there's something about smoking in school that makes it feel twice as good. Okay, buddy, you're awfully nostalgic you see today, this dude, Kato man. Yeah, well, my school wasn't as fancy as this one. Plus, I dropped out after a year. Uh oh, 
Guys, check this out. I think we may have found something. What is it? This is the classroom where Yagamishi set up the camera. Class 2-2. Two, two. Them again. Now they're picking on a girl. Whoa. Did you see that? Writing something on her? With a permanent marker? Yo, Tom! Let's go kick the shit out of those punks! No way I'm letting that slide! Yeah, this is a problem. Hold on, Yagami-san. What now? Looks like they got what they came for. They're already leaving the classroom. Man, why's nobody helping her? It, it's like they don't even want to see it. Kids think this doesn't involve you. Let's go, Kaito-san. I want to see what happened with my own two eyes. Yeah. I suppose we should report this to our client. I didn't expect to find anything this quickly, though. But now, we have irrefutable evidence that bullying is real here at Serio. Irrefutable we'll evidence, up he with says, the chairman chat. And see how we should proceed. Cameras haven't even been set up a full 24 hours. <laughs> Holy... Yo, chat. That, they're setting some pretty high standards for them to make, uh, themselves to maintain, right? Chat, you guys are gonna give me a second. There might be loot. such It looks like they simplified the gearing a little bit. Let's get a little closer and see. What the? Suspicious. Someone wrote slot on the back of her hand and permanent marker. Just awful. Uh huh. Indoor shoes, not much I can gather from looking at these. Second year, how kids don't know the right way to react even when one of their classmates gets bullied. What the? The uniform does not suit Kyle. I can't pull off everything, I guess. Examine the student. Suspicious. I can't really see her face on camera, but I don't want to wake her up either. Just 
she could, why do they always have to go through such hell? Wonder if her name is written down somewhere. What the? Suspicious. This is Tsukumo, paging Yagamishi. Yeah, what's up? I've just reported our findings to the chairman. Could you meet us here? His office is on the third floor of the East Building. On our way. behind me don't start with me country mama what's going on happy sunday hope you're doing well welcome in welcome in welcome in please come in huh you're the teacher i Sawa am sensei, doing well wasn't getting it? through some uh to what do we owe the lost pleasure? judgment from the Yakuza, All uh, of from these the Yakuza men are detectives? universe. Yes, and I'd like you to keep their identities a secret. These gentlemen here are Yakumi-san and Kaito-san. I see. Very well then. So you high school class two two teacher Yoko Sawa. I've explained the situation to Sawa Sensei, our homeroom teacher for class two two. Why don't you both have a seat? We're still, like, super, super early on, but, like, this went from, like, normal detectives to them investigating bullying at a private school, and I'm just like, bruh, I went to a private school, so I'm like, <laughs> I don't like, so I originally saw uh, a streamer, I used to watch play this during his playthrough of the entire, entirety of all games in the Yakuza universe, and I decided to start this Let's Play after uh, the end of The Division 2 simply because it had been long enough since I had seen it that I no longer remembered anything. And this is getting spicy already, and I'm very excited. <laughs> so much drama. Like, this is literally just going to be drama, and I'm here for it. I knew something was wrong, but I could never put my finger on what... The girl being bullied. Her name's Mommy Koda. Do I have that right? Yes. Oh yeah. She's ya the Yakuza game drama is and like so it's, just, it's like it's basically her. this is basically a, you know. Wonder if that's Japanese, where the bullying started. Uh, so proper right now. Sawa Sensei, you mentioned noticing something was wrong. Well, only that Koda-san hasn't been herself lately. Suspend him. Expel him. Kick those bullies the hell out of here. The video we took has all you need. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. For one thing, it would be quite problematic to use this video as evidence. True. True. The school can't just come out and say we've, we've been, been recording, recording your kids, your kids without, consent. without consent. Yes, and let us bear in mind, they still have their whole lives ahead of them. We cannot treat this lightly. You're not saying we should look the other way, are you? Hey. Last night you said the total opposite, man. If you intend to cover this up, let me just begin by saying... No one is suggesting we cover it up. Then okay, we need buddy. to act now. We have no idea how close to the edge Koda-san could be. <laughs> the music right now is There's killing me, chance. dude. It's so intense. What if she does something drastic before tomorrow? She's definitely a passionate teacher, but she may be jumping to conclusions on this one. Um, pardon me for saying so, but... Bullying is rarely resolved by the victim and the perpetrator coming to a mutual agreement. Ooh, a hound noob Thus, chat. If you play Pokemon community game, intervene. there is a hound noob in chat. Exclamation point pokey something. check to see if you have it if you are grinding your PCG decks. No decks. victim finds it easy to open up about their situation. But to family, 
friends, anyone. It takes a tremendous amount of courage for a bullied child to come forth and seek help. So if we, as outsiders, are to intervene, we must consider the ramifications. Even so! No, I think the chairman's right. Making a big scene might only make things worse for Kodasan. Oh, come on, Tark. That's not like you. Someone's drowning right in front of your eyes, and you're just gonna watch them sink? What I'm saying is, we have to put a stop to the bullying without getting the whole school involved. What started in that classroom will end in that classroom. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, but did you say you were a detective? The name's Yagami. And you want to put a stop to the bullying, like it's that easy. Tell me, where does all this confidence come from? You think there's a real chance we could pull this off, Yagami-san? Sketch. I do. Oh, Can you bring up that video again? Sure. One moment. I think the secret to stopping the bullying is right here in this video. Really? And by all means, detective, enlighten us. You don't have to be so condescending. Nope, she's got a point. You gotta back up that claim. So what's this big secret you're talking about? The secret in this video on how to stop the bullying is... Onlookers. It's those students sitting idly by. They're aware of the problem, but aren't doing anything to help. Well, yeah. There's a whole flock of bullies. Get in their way, you're their next target. Adults do the same thing, honestly. Guess we're not so different from high schoolers. That's because high school and is where you're conditioned. We should hold some sort of trial and get the class involved? Is that what you're trying to suggest? Again, something like that. It is. There's, a, there's the like, you get to basically be a detective. It's honestly been pretty wild. Tell me. What it's been more fun than Yakuza. the first Yakuza series, what I'm uh, Yakuza is, Universe the game I played, which was uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon. Bullies. So I'm On definitely going to play, uh, be playing Like a Dragon in Shin at some point. Their own gets tormented. They feign disinterest, or pretend not to notice, because remember, that's the safest thing to do. But deep down, it kills them to see it. Yeah, no shit. So if the class could just express that, the pressure would then shift to the bullies. We have to tip the social balance in that classroom, become the voices of justice, of social law. Then, it's the bullies who become the outcasts. Would True. they keep running the risk of bullying if it meant social exile? True. Oh, I can see how you arrived there. Let's go! Right. So Reverse psychology! We Anna! Hala! Hala! We come in by Welcome giving back. the bystanders a voice. We're gonna be the spark that lights a fire. After all, the first voice matters the most. Damn. Okay, so what's the plan here? Tsukumo, how fast can you get your hands on a couple of mini speakers? I want to put them in the classroom where they can't be seen. <laughs> I can have them here momentarily, but I... Wait, Anna, no, you were in here earlier. Here. We already happy sunday like I a few hours you. ago. I honestly can't say You were in work. here before stream, I'm pretty sure. Or was this last night? <laughs> <laughs> I see. In that case, no, I did not sleep school well school. last night. <laughs> Chairman, I don't know what these did. No, I'm trying to remember, bro, because I'm like, I'm pretty right sure. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let I me. refuse to stand idly by while a student gets pushed to the breaking point. Chat, chat, <laughs> chat will know. Anna, chat will know. No, that, I must be remembering from last night. Do you that, remember what I told you? About the student who committed suicide. Yeah, it w it was last that night. Maybe I'm thinking of uh, uh, me popping in when you were on uh, uh, an hour or two ago. Whatever the cause may have been, I can see that. As the chairman of this school, I don't want to let her down. So please, so much help suspense, her, chat. Son. Help us all. Help us, Broby One Kenobi. You're our only hope. Oh yeah, I could definitely use a nap. How's it coming along, Yagamishi? No complications, I presume? 
So far, so good. Looks like most of the students have gone home. Do you have the speakers I gave you? Yep, and they're just what I needed. You're the man, Tsukumo. <laughs> How about we save the praise for after our plan works out? We got this. We got Anybody this. Anybody in the classroom right now? Easy W. In class 2-2? Two -two? Let me check. Hmm? Now that's odd. What's wrong? Well, that one's fine, but there's something wrong with the camera in the classroom building. The one on the second floor by the stairs. Is it broken? No, still getting a signal. Something might be blocking the lens? All right. I'll check it out on the way. Nice, nice. Yeah, I usually uh, select a couple and only rotate once someone goes offline. Interesting. How does it look, Yagamishi? Anything unusual? Let's find out. Huh? The heck is this? Ah. Did you and find something? And now the student strikes. Yeah, a sticker on the lens. Yeah, I know whose sticker that is. Uh, uh, Yagamishi, behind you! There he is! That's the pervert who set up the hidden camera! See, when you find a hidden camera, your first thought is to take it down. That's wrong. What you do instead is block the lens. <laughs> when the pervert finally notices, he goes back to hey, the no and way. bam! Caught in the act. I get it, Amasawa. Just stay back. Hey, what is it you're doing over there? I told you, he's trying to peep on us. Oh, wow, that girl's pretty sharp. Looks like we've been caught red-handed. Come on, let's catch him already. Stop! Hey, wait! <gasps> Damn, chat. Are you safe, Yagamishi? Seems like you're in a bit of a pinch. Yeah, you think? Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> this ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Please stop showing me that stuff. I already know. Yagamichi, you should see a ladder that goes up to the gym's roof. That's my advice. Got it. My man is like, I gotta sneak. Sneak. Don't uh, panic, but the school just contacted security. Several guards are en route to your location. Great. Just wait. Anyways, but yeah, like I said, I usually try to uh, make sure that I can keep someone's uh, view live for their entire stream, and then, you know, once they're off, you know, I rotate to uh, just about everyone that I've uh, hung out with and kind of chill in their streams, basically, you know, if I'm enjoying your streams and be hanging out with your streams whenever you're live. I have the ability to do so. Just some testing I did with a buddy of mine back in the day. Looks like you've made it to the rooftop. Helped me to figure out how how I was able time. to keep views From the drone, live yeah, whenever I'm I found a spot you guys. that's pretty inconspicuous. From here, use the drone as a guide and jump from that roof toward the classroom. You're gonna have to clear a big gap. The fuck? Right. Man? Try not to die. What the fuck? Got 
Nagamichi. It looks like some of the guards have arrived. You think... <sighs> I'll have to somehow. What? Even after... Yeah. I should be able to make a clean getaway. As long as I'm done before... Are you serious? It'll be fine. All I have to do is not get caught, right? Besides... You know very well I'm weak to... <laughs> but for the glory of... Let's, Let's go! Started. Better be careful here. Like I said, I should be able to help you get to your destination without incident. Make sure you don't lose that earpiece, Got okay? It. Counting on you, Tsukumo. Not happening. And this was the shortest route to Class 2-2. Uh, nothing we can do but find another route. Give me a moment. Yagamishi, it seems the rooftop might be a more viable option. Let's abandon this route and try it, shall we? Yeah. No sense waiting for the guards to just give up their... Let's check out the rooftop. Okay, that makes sense. Another roadblock? My apologies. I'm afraid that was a blind spot. Well, shit. Yagamishi. Didn't we put a camera here, there? chat? How hmm? is that a blind spot? There's just one. Now, well, in that case, let's just get that. You got a plan? <laughs> of course. Yagamishi. You mean this ball or whatever? What does it even do? It's kind of like one of those anti theft balls, actually. You fill that ball with powder or liquid and. Right. Oh, just some peppers. Peppers? Now, now, don't doubt the magician. Just take my word for it. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, damn. It worked like a charm. <laughs> what did I tell you? Damn. Well, Yagamishi, that okay. only worked once. You'll have to procure a refill on your own. Yeah, I got it. If I keep going down this way, I'll just end up... The landing where you were accused of being... you have any idea how it's looking right now? I'll take a look. There's no sign of that sharp girl who framed you. The onlookers seem to have dispersed too. Oh. Then I'm good to go? There is one guard posted there. But I'm sure you can get past him. Yeah. Piece of cake if he's alone. Hey, I guess we have to go for a little more before phone dies. Hey, appreciate you coming through and hanging out with us. Okay. Okay, we got some smoke screen powder. Uh, Durad, loin, whatever.
we actually have to hit him with the stupid s um there's no shot Alright, then we'll speed, we'll speed run this. There's no, oh, there. yeah. Can't save here. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, game. Fair enough. Fair enough. Chat, we'll wait for him to come back. I want him to be on this end when we go sprinting. Two, two. Nobody mm -hmm. in sight. Roger that. <laughs> Seems like those guards were no trouble for you. Yeah, thanks to you. And well, chat. better set up those speakers while I can. Good luck. Damn. Uh... All right. I'm gonna take pause real quick. I need to stretch my legs. Chat, if you've been sitting for a while, you've been watching, go ahead, take a quick break, bathroom break, etc., etc. We're going to start back up and continue with this soon. This is all story stuff, so as soon as I'm back, we're going to continue. But like I said, give me a minute. I need to stretch my legs, see how the fam's doing. Be right back. All right, sorry, chat. I'm trying to get re uh, resituated so we can keep going. You guys are gonna hear the chair moving, eeky, eeky. and we'll keep going. Okay. Okie dokie. Set up the speakers. So the desk is there, obviously, but where do we set up the speakers? Okay. You should face this way.
Tsukumo, could you say something? Oh, uh, testing. Testing. Today's forecast calls for sunshine and heavy security. Perfect. Your speakers are awesome, Tsukumo. Does this mean your setup is complete? Yeah, I've pretty much done what I can. Huh? Oh, no you don't. Go get Yakun. I see you got security all riled up. They've been looking all... I could have sworn I saw you earlier at lunch. Oh, you're the guy from yesterday. I'd say it's time. Don't lose heart, Yagamichi. I've already come this far. Right. I can get through this. Look, who the fuck are you and why are you in our school? No answer? You're only making this worse on yourself, you know? I hear the slight. <clears throat> Does this mean we could beat the answers out of him? Oh, oh yeah. Are they even dumber than we'll this dude? Heroes for breaking this nasty ass pervert. Sick. I always wonder what it'd be like to shatter a human bone. Whoa. What is this shit? This guy doesn't mess around, Yakun. We all need to take him at once. Let's go, chat. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Just bow, 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 bow. <sighs> Should I have gone easier on them? Never mind those guys. You need to make yourself scarce. And the three of us need to make our exit now, too. We'll all regroup at the office.
Damn, chat. Where'd you find this one? That was a good one. That was a good one. Honestly, thoroughly enjoyed that. I should head back. I should head back to Yokohama 99. Saito-san and everyone else should be there. If we get a suit, chat, that's what I'm having him wear, like, いらっしゃいませ。うん。Let's see. ありがとうございました。ああ、アイテムス。ギア。ハハ。So now we'll be gaining plus uh, experience and uh, what's it called? Plus SP, the stuff that we use to uh, this stuff, skill points. We'll get increased skill points. Right now we have 2300, right? We can probably upgrade something somewhere. Anyways. <laughs> I want to say we started the game with like 15. Oh, you almost got arrested and put on the sex offender list. There's no way I'd screw things up that bad. In all seriousness, those bullies got what was coming. I kind of wish you messed them up worse. That way, they'd never bother Kodasan again. Yeah, but that wouldn't really solve the problem. Not true, 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 true. Fight. What? Wow, look who's talking. But that's where those speakers come into play, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. If everything goes as expected. Hey, you did everything you could, right? So we'll see what tomorrow has in store. Nap time. Nap time. Let's go. Next. Next. Yeah, chat. So at, if you can't tell, I love Flying Crane. Uh, more times than not in this game, you're going to be fighting multiple enemies. Flying Crane is great. If you're fighting big bosses, then it's better to switch to one of the more offensive styles. Uh, that still has dodges in it, but like flying crane is really good uh, in these situations so far, so that's why I switched to it so quickly. Time to go to Siryu High and put an end to the bullying. This is like what our first post tutorial case. I'm gonna scream. Sorry, chat, I'm trying to access the item box.
chat. We got a bunch. Girlfriend. Hover drive. Chat, what's happening? Chat, we have a motorcycle? Robot. Hey, uh, chat? What? We might as well get that. There's no reason not to. Uh, what I wanted to check on was, uh... Grace, you sword from with... Combo attack, cold circle for charge duration 60 seconds. These are all battle things that I can use, chat. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. I'm cool with that. Oh, and we can make more. These are miscellaneous valuables. Stuff we can sell. Master Systems game. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, Chad, okay. We're, uh, we're gonna do the hover drive, by the way. Yeah. Okay, now we can go down. I may try out the hover drive, chat. All right, chat, let's go. So Sorry, Chad, I jumped a little bit what? and almost choked on my drink. Don't you have anything more to say than that, Coda? Get your ass up. Bro, just Come just on. punch Monsters her in the face, in the mood bro. To your shit today. I'll just eat lunch here, okay? Huh? You're giving us lip now? I guess you won't be needing this stuff then. <sighs> we told you to get your ass up, you little slut. Oh, maybe you've started fucking guys on your lunch break now? <laughs> You're out here living the dream, aren't you? <laughs> Enough! Get your ass up! What's the fucking holdup, Coda? You should be thanking us for even inviting you to come. So slow. I can't fucking stand you. Bro, why? Well, damn. So much for my appetite. You guys are making me sick. 
Hey, who the fuck said that? We're making you sick, huh? You guys talking about us? You see anyone else being assholes? Of course he's talking about you. Yeah, I've about had it with you punks. This shit's getting old. The fuck? Ganging up on the same girl day after day make you feel real big? Unfucking believable that it takes three of them to do the job. Seriously, you guys? You're taking Koda's side here? You know she's just a whore, right? You okay, Koda-san? Just ignore these losers. How low can you go? Calling someone a whore isn't gonna win you any points. Right. <laughs> a picture of purity over here. Uh, what the hell? Ooh. Hey! She can dish it, but she can't take it. Hope the boys are watching. What? Ooh, chat. What the fuck, man? If you want to talk shit, say it to my face. What part of this don't you understand? <sighs> yeah. You know what, guys? It's true. You guys just need to leave her alone. He's right. He's totally right. What's your problem with her anyway? Hey, yeah, chat at work. Wrong, guys. They just it's psych. Back, they just psychology these Kota kids, bro. Stop acting like little punks. Get the hell out of here. When you guys going to lunch? Go choke on a chopstick. Oh, how does it feel now? Oh, just get going, shit. would you? Yeah. Toss them out. Chat. <laughs> the hell is going on here? They're so confused. Fuck this. Yeah. Let's just go. Fuck it. Wow. I've never seen those kids band together like that. They all knew what was going on in there now. It can be hard to speak up even when you know something happening right in front of you is wrong. Mm -hmm. Not so different from adults, right? Yagami-san, was everything we just witnessed part of your plan? It's just psychology. There's this concept called the bystander effect. According to the psychologists, when a person witnesses an incident, there's three things that run through their mind if other people are in the vicinity. One, if no one else acts, it must not be urgent. Two, if no one else acts, I don't have to take action either. And three, if I take action alone, I'll embarrass myself. The result? Everybody stands there and nobody takes action. I just figured if I could get even one person to step up and raise their voice, it would spur the rest of them to push past their inability to act. <laughs> Penguins are the same way. You ever seen a flock of them <laughs> hesitating to take a leap into the sea? One True. takes the first plunge and the others all start following. Yup, that one penguin's the like, penguin. you guys are pussies, I'm going in. And it's all the other penguins are like, <laughs> I've heard it said that overseas in America, the first penguin is a symbol of respect. So for Yagamishi, that would mean your voice was the first penguin in that classroom. I can't say for certain this resolved your bullying problem. But here's hoping it's at least a good first step. Damn, chat. They're gone. You should be safe from them for a while. <laughs> Poor thing. The first penguin. Stop the bullying at Seriu High School. What do you say we monitor the situation for now? Might not be wise for Case adults one, to intervene close. just yet. I suppose your plan has worked out for the better. Damn. But it should be teachers and administrators handling Damn. these matters, not detectives. You're you know correct, what? but I couldn't agree more. Then if you'll excuse me. Come on, man. Lighten up a little. You didn't have to rub it in her face. You know what she thinks? She thinks we're some bums off the street trying to meddle in academic affairs. Well, then, I apologize on her behalf. But Yagami-san, that was some magic you worked there. Hard to admit this at my age, 
but I learned quite a bit from what you did. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Good stuff, Yagami-san. <laughs> Naturally. I knew you would deliver. <laughs> huh? Sorry, I have to take this. Hey, this is Yagami. This is Shiosaki. Do you have a minute? Uh, sure. I have a rather urgent request for you. It concerns a trial we've been involved with. Listen, sorry son. Uh, I'm a little busy. I don't know if I can take a rush job at the moment. We aren't even in Kamacho right now. Actually, I'm in Yokohama. Really? That's interesting. I'm helping Sugiura out with a case for his new agency. We're on site right now. At Serio High School. Uh, sorry, son? You there? Serio High? Somewhere near Ijincho? Is that the school? Hmm? Huh? Have you heard of it? A college-age student teacher from that school went missing about two months ago. It was all very sudden. Huh. I think I heard something about that, actually. He himself was a Seiryu High graduate. He'd returned to his alma mater to finish his teaching credential. Just a sec. How do you know so much about this? The teacher's name is Hiro Mikoshiba, and his body was discovered a few days ago. They found him in one of Ichincho's abandoned buildings. Oh, uh, chat? The body was badly decomposed, but Kanagawa police have just released his identity. Moments ago, in fact. Moments ago? This is gonna end today? Thing is, someone else knew Mikoshiba was dead, before the police even confirmed it. A sex offender, Akihiro Ehara. I defended him in court. The day Mikoshiba disappeared, Ehara was arrested at the station for groping. He's also an active duty officer. Hmm. So you're saying he committed the murder too? No. The victim was still alive while Ehara was at the station in Tokyo committing sexual battery. He was caught and arrested on the spot. And he's been in jail for the two months since. So if I have this right, he has an alibi for the murder? Right. But there's more to it. A few days ago, someone lit flares at the location of Mikoshiba's body. It obviously couldn't have been Ahara, so I suspect that's the real culprit. But whoever that is, is somehow connected to Ahara. Yeah. Otherwise, there's no other way he could have known about the body. Interesting. Exactly. There's clearly more to Ahara than an officer turned groper. More than likely, he's an accomplice to murder. Okay. So do we have a motive? Four years ago, Ahara's only son hung himself in their home. He was a student at Seiryo High at the time. And the way Ahara sees it, his death was the result of bullying at the hands of his classmate, Mikoshiba. You mean it's revenge? Ooh. In that case, could he possibly have hired someone else to kill the guy in his stead? It's highly likely. As for my request, I'd like to see what you can find out. Mikoshiba's murder is too suspicious. Up until today, I wrote Ehara off as just another train groper. But he got arrested for that on the exact day that Mikoshiba was killed. It can't be a coincidence. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better alibi than being arrested for a different crime, right? True. Otherwise, the cops would have pinned him as suspect number one. True, true. true but groping true, true. as an alibi? Why go to all that trouble? There had to have been a better way than that. To I'm prove worried. the system is broken. As his attorney, I have to admit there's a chance Ehara planned this, which means I've made a critical oversight. Even worse, I let a misguided court issue a verdict. I can't allow that to stand. I need to reconsider both the harassment and the murder, because I think the truth is these cases are one and the same. All right. Well... What can I do for you? Can you see if anyone at Seiryu High will talk about Mikoshiba? Right now, we need more information. And the first thing we should focus on is how and why he disappeared. That could give us a lead. So, does this mean you're hiring me? It does. 
consider it an official request, if you would. Okay, I'm on it. <laughs> no better feeling than when the jobs line up perfectly. Chat, you guys probably hear the uh, laptop back in my uh, back in my lap. Uh, give me one second. Uh, chat, 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 chat. Here, chat, chat, chat. Ijincho, Yokohama. Okay, on the harbor city, town yeah. where rotting secrets rarely stay on Rotting secrets. Uh, the deceased was <laughs> a student uh, teacher who had vanished from a high school Yagami was investigating. Yet the linchpin to this case, a police officer named Ohara, was arrested for a different crime, a train groping that shocked the nation. Upon hearing the verdict, Ohara gave the court an ominous revelation that the son he had lost was avenged. Damn. Let's see what it says, chat. Let's see how it starts. Before I go all in, can we go over the defendant's profile? That way I'll have something to work with. Sure. Akihiro Ahara, age 53, senior officer with Tokyo PD, convicted of sexual battery. He'd been stationed in Shinjuku and lived alone in Tokyo. That is, until his arrest. Okay. Lived alone? Unmarried then? His wife moved to Yokohama without him seven years ago. Okay. Her son Toshiro started at Saverio High. Okay. Toshiro-kun ended up taking his life in his third year. That's four years ago if you're counting. Interesting. And the couple never reconciled, huh? Apparently, his wife wanted nothing to do with him from that point on. That's oh, just for wow. Details. All right. So they don't know why. They charged, just know. Okay. Ahara maintained his innocence. He's had no luck getting him to budge. Mind you, the prosecution has plenty against him. Security camera surveillance, eyewitness footage, even trace evidence gathered on scene. The same footage the media was plastering on TV? Hmm. Yes. Although some of it was edited for privacy or length, but it painted a clear enough picture. Hard to dispute something you can see right in front of you. True. And what about when they handed down the verdict? The horror flew off the handle or something? Yeah, that's one way of putting it. Your Honor, in a warehouse, about three days ago, a body turned up in Yokohama. The body belongs to a guy named Hiro Mikoshiba. Four years ago, this man took my son from me by driving him to commit suicide. Ehara seemed convinced that Mikoshiba had bullied his son, and to get his justice, he even took Seiryu High to court. However, the court ruled against him, claiming there was no substantial evidence of bullying. Damn. The chairman mentioned that lawsuit. I'm sure Ehara wasn't thrilled with the verdict. I still need to dig into the court record of that case to see if there's anything of value. Sounds like I'm on deck then. I've got someone involved in the case right in front of me. The chairman of Serio High himself. Are you talking about me? I don't know how you pull these things off, Yagami-san. But let me give you a word of caution. I'm listening. Mikoshiba's murder hasn't been made public yet. So please don't go around talking about it. Especially at his school. The Kanagawa police will investigate the school soon enough. And if they find out everyone already knows... <sighs> They'd show us the door, lock it behind them... And probably charge us with obstruction. Exactly. Oh, and before I send you Mikoshiba's photo, there's one last thing you should know. What's that? Ehara's ruling was the day before yesterday. That means we only have 13 more days to potentially file an appeal. She's right. We'd need to file an appeal in order to show the court our dis dissatisfaction with the verdict. But if we don't appeal in two weeks, the court will assume we have nothing left to argue and process the defendant as if charged. If we don't make our move, Ehara will walk out of court with a sex offense charge and a minor slap on the wrist. And once his case is closed, it would take a miracle to get it reopened, even if there had been a critical oversight. 
right. I'm sorry to give you a time limit instead of a viable solution. Don't worry. That's fair enough. Do. Chad, I think that's now, fair enough. Just keep in touch. Thanks. And good luck. I think that's fair enough. Yo, what was that about? <laughs> sorry. Give me one more sec. Good. Sorry, sent me the picture of Hiro Mikashiba. So this is the guy Hara said would be found dead. Actually, Kaito-san, can I fill you in later? I need to get some answers from the chairman. Hmm? New info has been added to... Okay. I take it that call was the Genda Law Office? Sorry, chat. Hold on a second. Okay, Yagami-san. Tsukumo and I will do... I mean, no way you could say no to Sa... Gonna hog the teacher's attention for yourself. Okay. May I help you? You sure can. Only thing is, where to start? I can't reveal what happened to Mikashiba, but there's no harm in asking general questions Remember about Remember how him. you told me about a student teacher went missing? Oh, uh... This is him, right? Hiro Mikoshiba. How do you have that photo? But yes, that's him. I'd like to ask a bit about him, in relation to a separate investigation. What... what is it you need to know? I'm afraid I can't give you any details. This request comes from a very close colleague. I'm sure you understand. It's okay. It's a matter of detective client privilege. <sighs> I know that isn't much. Okay, buddy, that's not a real thing. Comfort. I would never disclose anything about your case either. But don't you see? Mikoshibukun was officially reported missing. Please, can you tell me something? I promise. I'll tell you everything I can when I can. But for now, let me ask the question. Very well. I'll start with the basics. Mikoshibukun was a graduate here, correct? And that's why he came back to train as a teacher. That's correct. How long was he supposed to be here? Three weeks, originally. He'd nearly finished his time with us. But one day he simply stopped coming. It was as if all was well. Then suddenly... He was gone. He was gone. Or at least that's how I'd heard it. Were you two not that close? No. We would had barely exchanged a word since he arrived. That sounds pretty standard for a school chairman. He wouldn't personally deal with any temp staff. Wasn't there a pretty dark rumor about Mikoshiba-kun four years back? Something about how he drove a student to suicide? You mean what was dredged up online? Yes, I'm aware of it. However, in the subsequent lawsuit, that rumor was put to rest. The court found no evidence of bullying. But you had your doubts, didn't you? So you called on us to take a deeper look. Well, uh, yes. But let's not get confused. The tragedy from four years ago does weigh on us, but we've washed our hands of the matter. <laughs> well, you say that. How can we? I can't help circling back to the same question. Why would the head of a school hire detectives to monitor his students in secret, potentially even out of pocket? Well, for one thing, it would reflect poorly on our institution were I to openly suspect our students. Then there's the issue of bullying being recorded and shared online. You know what kind of firestorm that can cause. Damn. I mention, I'm the one who takes the fall for it. My own privacy be damned. So of course I would opt for secrecy. That's fair. But what that still doesn't answer is why this is happening now. True. I'm not sure I follow. Something must have pushed the chairman towards taking action against the bullying now of all times. Security camera footage of Shinji, uh, Shinjuku Station platform in October. Numerous cameras recorded the grouper attempting to flee the scene with the female victim in pursuit. Could this be what riled you up? But this is... This is footage of Akihiro Ihara two months ago, captured up in Tokyo. The man was an active duty police officer, so of course it made the rounds in the media. But you already knew all that. 
After all, he's the one who sued your school on account of what his son endured here. Bullying that led to suicide. Well, that's... Uh, undeniable. And now that he's in the spotlight, any more problems at Serio would lead people to start connecting the dots. True. Uh, the police would dig up that suicide in no time, regardless of whatever the court had ruled. They might even reach the conclusion you had covered the whole thing up. I get the feeling that's why we're really here. To prevent another mess on your hands. Oh, I see now. Our job's to sniff out any bullying. Then you sweep it under the rug. That's simply not true. At least, that wasn't my intention. You sure about that? The thought never even crossed your mind? <sighs> Perhaps it did. The scenario you described was painfully accurate. Every time I saw Ihara-san on TV, I'd grow sick with worry that it could all boil over on us here at any moment. I can assure you, Chairman, I'm not here to cause any trouble. I only want to learn about Miko Shibaku. In that case, you should speak with Sawa-sensei. She was his teaching mentor. Her? Great. That's my luck. See? I told you we should have stayed on her good side. How was I supposed to know? Um, so, would you like me to call her back here? No, thanks. I should go see her myself. Do a bit of smoothing over. In that case, you may want to go downstairs and see if she's in the faculty room. She should still be Ah, in the yes, of course. I've got another chance to shoot my shot. Sorry, Kaito-san, but I'm fielding this one alone. Tsukumo, you guys can clear out too. What? You're benching all of us? Just like that? I don't understand the meaning of this, Yagamishi. If I had time to explain, I would. Just trust me on this for now. All right. Okuda said the faculty room is one floor below his office. All right, chat. We're going to drop a hard save here. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for part one of our Let's Play of Lost Judgment on PS5. For those of you on YouTube, if you have not already, please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Continues to help our channel to get further into the YouTube algorithm and get further exposure. For those of you on Twitch, please stick around. We're going to go hey, uh, raid out to the buddy Hosere. He is doing Nitro Stream Racing on stream it is fun it is lit come hang out with us let's go hang out with him and once again for all of you on twitch and youtube i appreciate each and every one of you who continue to come and check out our channel each and every day that you do i hope to see more of you back tomorrow monday work day i will be back uh live uh around 6 p.m eastern standard time we'll continue this i'm having a blast so i hope to see you guys then for more of our Let's Play of Lost Judgment on PS5. Catch you then. Bye!